Hello, sweetheart. Oh, I missed you now. Of course. I'm coming to see you. Mm -hmm. Do you know I love you so much? Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, baby. Cleo, so it's true. What is true? What are you talking about? Who is Chiki? Talking to you, who is Chike? You have nothing to say, right? Oh no. Oh no. Part of my best life has been spent with you. I've been overly excited to propose to you. I've been talking about you. I've been telling my friends about you. I've been telling everyone how I can't wait to be your husband. And you've been seeing another. Hey. I'm sorry, but I never wanted this. Look, okay. I'm sorry you have to find out about Chiki and I. But that is the reality. Yes, you, you are rich and handsome. But you are too rigid. So you never loved me? Yes, I do. But not anymore, okay? You were good for a while, yes. But I never intended to keep this relationship for a long time. Your social life sucks. I can't beat it. I can't even stand you. Yes. The three years I spent with you has been deceitful. You never loved me. Come on, okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. You you were not that bad. <laughs> but if you permit me, if I may suggest. We can be friends with benefits. Don't! Please, don't be too hard on yourself. Just understand me. You were not that bad. I mean, our bedtime was so memorable. Wasted so much of my time and effort for someone who didn't value me nor care for it. 
Cleo was actually using me to catch crews all these years. And I didn't notice. Of course, the handwriting was always there. But I was blinded by... by love. I would definitely take my own pound of flesh from Cleo, from women, all of them. All of them. Something. I'm not looking for anything. Then you come inside. This this is the way to inside the house. Then fast. Let's let's go inside. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I was just admiring the beauty of the house. I mean, your house. And 
I'm sorry, but please, do you live here all by yourself? Hey, you're here for sex, to service me, not for question and answer. If you ask more questions, I swear, I'll throw you out of this house. <laughs> this way. This way. House. The house is beautiful yet. Yet smells doom. Where are you? Table. That's the bathroom, so you freshen up. This is it. Something is definitely not right about this house. I am convinced that this kind of affluence showing around this house is of illegitimate wealth, probably gotten through blood rituals or something close. Who knows? Who knows what he went inside to do? Perhaps to get his boys whom would bundle me to the slaughter room. Oh my goodness, is this why he didn't bargain prize with me? Chima Amanda, would this be the end of the road for you? Oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. Are you okay? I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm... My friend, I said go and take your bath. Put your ass on the bed. Tomorrow is work. I need to sleep now. Say good morning. Say it's good morning. It's good morning in the name of person. I don't have peace of time. your food. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the meal. You're welcome. Do you want to come in? Come inside. Like, you want to lie down? Don't worry. <sighs> My name is Okechuku. Milton. I'm the CEO of Milton Oil and Gas. You see, previously I was incensed by someone I thought um, maybe having a um, hot round of sex would um, calm me down. But um, now that I'm done, now that I've taken my bath, I am. Um, I'm very fine now, like my nerves are calm, so I don't need sex anymore. But that's, that won't be a problem. I will still pay your money in full. Um, yeah. um, if it's about that, I'll tell, I'll tell you about me. My name is Chimamanda. I, uh, I am from... Your name is what? My name is Chimamanda. Mm. What a beautiful name. Kudos to your parents for giving you such an um, adorable name. Well, 
My parents didn't give me the name. I gave myself at a very tender age. Is there a reason for that? Not really. Uh, it's personal, right? And I would appreciate it if we'd, we talk about something else. Let's let's just forget about it. Um, it's, it's fine if you don't want to talk about it. I think I understand. So, you wanted to say something before... Yeah, I was telling you about myself. I want to tell you my name and also to tell you that I'm a student of applied chemistry in the State University. Really? Yeah. Why do you look surprised? You don't believe that prostitutes can study? No, no, not, not really. I... <laughs> no, not really. Wow. So, what level? 400. 400? Yes, 400. You're almost done. Yes, almost. Impressive. All the best. Thank you. So, do you want to come? Come on. Mm, okay. <sighs> do you want more water? No. You're fine. I actually like staying here, so you go. Okay. I was feeling all... This is strange. So strange. A man sleeping next to a beauty like me without even looking my way. Even when I'm naked? Am I not attractive anymore? No, 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 no. That's not true. I'm a very pretty girl. And I know it. Men have always thrilled at my presence. But this one is totally different. How am I even sure he's a man down there? Or does he have any evil intention? I don't want to believe that this man actually brought me here just to waste my time. Uh, I hope he won't tell me stories in the morning about my money. I just hope so. Good morning, beautiful. Beautiful. Did you just call me back? Beautiful. Of course you're beautiful. And I guess it's not the first time hearing that. For once, I thought you never found me attractive. You... You didn't even touch me all through the night. You couldn't even lay your hands on me. You, you pretended as if I wasn't here. Well, prostitute is not really my thing. You know, I've not done it before. I guess you, you are a saint then. <laughs> Not really. I didn't call myself a saint. I'm just letting you know I, I haven't um, slept with a prostitute before. I'll come my kids, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. My money. Oh, it's okay. I understand you both. Give me the the hundred thousand. Of course, that, that's that's what we bargained. Yeah, I know we we bargained, but we we didn't. Okay, fine. I'll keep it. Thank you. You are. So, if you don't mind, can I have your number? I'll, I'll have to take my leave now.
This is like a dream. A hundred thousand naira. Hey, maybe I shouldn't have collected this money. Just maybe I should have counted last night as a bad day. Hey, are you sure I have not fallen into this man's trap? Hundred thousand naira. For doing nothing. Nothing at all. Hey. I may be a prostitute, but I do have conscience. Anyway, let me wait until he calls. Long enough to know that you've been in a very deep thought. Oh, should I say reflection? Reflecting about your beautiful man with Cleo, I guess. Well, um, we'll talk about that later. Talk about that later. Okay. This is more uh, the reason why I came. Uh, I'll come back for the food. Okay. Excuse. Hello, beautiful. I'm fine, thank you. But I can't pretend not to know who is talking to me. It's totally different. Well, I'm okay anyways. Pleasing to hear. Um, I, I, are you booked for, for tonight? Mm, not really. I'm not, I'm not going for work tonight. I need to read my books. My exams are coming up. Interesting. So what about tomorrow? Can you come during the day? I just, um... It's all right. I'll, I'll try. I'll try because there's something else I want to tell you. Oh, really? Yeah, I want to discuss something with you. Okay, okay, fine then. Tomorrow, tomorrow. No, no, no. Don't worry yourself. No stress. I'll, I'll find my way. Okay, 12 p.m. is fine. Okay, all right. See you. Bye. You're not looking like someone who just broke up from a relationship you so cherish. Am I supposed to kill myself? Mm, not really, <laughs> but uh, I should have some feelings that you lost somebody. Well, I did. I can continue dwelling on that. Mm -hmm. See what happened to me the other day. What? After drinking, I just, you know, got so angry and raged. I just had to pick up a call girl. Hmm? 
because I felt um, after marathon sex or something that that feeling would just go off. You know, so many things on my mind. So how did you go? How many rounds did you take? <laughs> I ended up not doing anything though, it's funny. After taking my bath, my nerves, you know, calmed and I just told the girl, hey, I'm good, you can sleep and that was it, I just went to bed. <laughs> Hard to believe. I mean, you were soaked in alcohol, you picked up a cockpit on the street and at the end of the day, you prayed for her. <laughs> Not like prayer, making it funny. Like, we went to bed and that was it. No um, touching body? Nah. Nah. Had to be. But funny that. enough, um, yeah. I think I like that girl. She has this um, natural aura around her, you know. I just feel she's real. Apart from being a call girl, I just think um, she's... There's something special about her. Hey, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I mean it. Let me borrow your word. <laughs> take a chill pill. <laughs> you really need to take a chill pill because you, you, this is not you, man. No, but I'm just saying, man. It's just an honest observation, you know. You, took a, you picked a cockroach on the street. You ended up not sleeping with her. Now you... You Nigga, I'm not you, man. It's not Biggie. Must I do something? Take a chill pill. <laughs> and try not to be up in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won't kill me. It's all good, Shai. It's all good. Yeah, but she's a cool girl, really. Mm -hmm. She's a cool girl, really. Sounds like a fairy tale. Fairy tale? <laughs> <laughs> In the car. As you sit down? Yes. Alright. Hold on, Mom. Thank you. actually i'm no, fine no no i would be a very bad host if i take that from you you have to take something no, I don't you have to... wine beer water anything i honestly don't want anything but i'll just go with water just water okay fine Ure. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir. Get water for my guest. Okay, sir. Welcome. Thank you. So, how was your studies yesterday? You went well. Oh, you changed your mind? I don't understand. Are you trying to dictate or monitor my movement? Oh, no, not really. I, I know you told me that you wanted to skip business for your studies, so... Not exactly. It happened exactly the way I told you. 
And thanks for your concern in Louis. Well, I'm glad you did uh, exactly what you said. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you said you you want us to talk? Yes, I wanted us to discuss something. It's actually about the money that you gave me. You know, I felt I didn't work for it. Therefore, I shouldn't have collected it. At least not all of it. And um, before coming here, I, I had wanted to come with some part of the money. You know, but on a second thought, I knew full well that I was coming here for service, so I would make up for today's own, right? <laughs> ah, to Amanda. Well, um, you see, you, you did your job. Of course, you deserved your payment. I think it was actually me that, that, that didn't do what I was supposed to do, you know. And, um, I really don't know what you mean by service. If it's what I'm thinking, then you're wrong. <laughs> I didn't call you out here for sex. I uh, Actually, I called you here because I, I wanted company. Yeah, not sex. But you will still get your full payment regardless. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Sorry. No, this is not funny, Chimamanda. Honestly, I am. But can't you see the humor in all of this? There is no humor in this. But there is in this case. There is none. This is me telling you of heartbreak and you're laughing at me. Okay, let's not talk about it. But the truth is, there is one in this. Okay? Well, congratulations. You've been used and discarded after the process. Oh, really? Is that all you have to say? My dear, I'm being honest with you. Judging from what you told me, this girl in question doesn't love you. She doesn't love you at all. She was just using you for the time being. Like using you to keep herself less lonely and stuff like that. Maybe there yeah, might be one or two attractions, but certainly love is never involved. She doesn't love you. It's a no-no. You're right after all. You know, something happened when we were dating that made me to understand that she she wasn't really into me. She wasn't really into the relationship, but guess I was I was blinded by love that I, I couldn't allow my, my brain to, you know, do its job. <clears throat> but the truth is that she doesn't love me like I do. You see, love is a very interesting thing. It flows naturally from the heart and not the head. When the love is genuine, the head does a little, only but a little. But that's not withstanding anyway. You would have done better. Wow. It was, it was a horrible experience for me. I felt like I was, I was going to, you know, I don't know if it's silly to say lose my life, but the truth was I wasn't really, really getting myself during that time. All I was thinking of was revenge, bitterness, and... Um, <sighs> Break up. It's really a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. It makes people very bitter, oftentimes making the process a mess of feeling, accompanied by desperate need to retaliate. 
But I tell you the truth, darling. Retaliation is never an option for me. Because I consider it to be a spiritual suicide set aside to destroy someone's soul and of course set the person out for destruction. It's nothing good. Never. Not for anyone. Wise words. You're right. Breakups are enough and something to reckon with. It's um, something I I wouldn't even wish my enemy to, you know, to witness. Talk more of my my relations or people close to me, you know. If you're not careful you might lose yourself in the, in the process. As bad and terrible as breakups are, we must certainly encounter it in our lives. Maybe once, twice, or even more. If people have respect for the memories and moments they shared whilst in relationships, there won't be much breakups. And even if there are, it won't be this hurtful. But no, human will always be human. It's crazy. You're very intelligent. I want to ask something and I, I don't want you to feel bad. Why you were talking, I was just um, wondering why an intelligent young lady like you would be going into prostitution. Why right? you have all this knowledge packed up in you. You're a great person. I have to take my leave. The day has been fast spent, and I have to go for my business. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, please. I, I, I didn't mean to make you sad. I gave you my excuse for wanting to go. I am not your housewife. I need to go for my business. Oh, please, please, just take a chill pill. Look, I, it was just an honest observation, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Please, can, can you, can you, can you pass the night? No, not again. I need to go. Oh, please, please. Do you know, Amanda? Don't. Okay, fine. You just stay. I will make it up to you. Okay? I'll drop you off in the morning. I'll, I'll, I'll still pay you your money. Yeah. I'm sorry. house yeah my house is very close it's close by so I'll complete the rest by foot <laughs> why don't you want me to drop you just there no don't worry I'll just I'll just walk through so far okay somebody don't want me to know your house like I said it's very close okay and thanks for last night the money thank you it's okay you, you worked for it <laughs> I worked for it mm -hmm. you know, I reserve my comments um I just, I'll, I'll go. Uh, it's fine, if, if that's what you want. So, when, when am I seeing you again? You have my number. We'll, we'll talk on the phone, right? Okay. All right, guys. Bye.
That was the reason I called you earlier. Don't worry, I'll... I'm really tired now. I will call you to let you know if I can make it. Okay? Okay, ma. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Eh? Thank you. How about you? Thank you. Hi, Chief. Nice to meet you. What is really going on? You said you wanted to tell me something, but you've not said anything since I... Yes, I don't really know how to say it. I don't really know how to put it. I'm sorry. Listen, however it is, go ahead and talk to me. Okay? Tell me, what is it? Say things the way they are. I don't have a problem with that. We're short of supply. And it's not helping matter at all. Despite all our feelings, so today, please the government and individual, there is no little or no help coming from any of them except you. Hmm? Although not consistent, but you're showing little concern. Um, I will tell you not to be dismayed, right? Because not everyone understands the meaning of supporting this kind of initiative. But you have to keep striving. You have to keep awareing people. The awareness has to be there. Okay? I believe with that, things will get better. Amen. And trust me, there are thousand and one people out there who are willing to support, but they haven't seen reasons to. Okay? So in my only two way, I would want to support with, with this. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, my thank you. I don't really know what to say. You have always been a source of joy with your consistency in making sure you contribute with your quotes in support of this mission. Thank you once more. You're welcome. Thank and you. again and again, I will always appreciate you, Mrs. Joy. I give you a big kudos for what you're doing. It is not easy to assembly the less privileged from all walks of life. You cater for them. You service them. You make sure that they are very okay. It is not easy. I pray that God Almighty in His infinite mercy will continue to bless and protect you. As a matter of fact, posterity will be kind to you. Amen. Amen. And you too. I pray that God Almighty will bless you with your heart desire. Amen. And most especially bless you with a wonderful husband. Amen. You know you're a very beautiful woman. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I have to really be on my way. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Take care. Of All right. Bye. 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 Okay. Go and check the kids. What are you saying? Now go to the point. Eh. I already heard what you said. I know. But, okay, what do you want? Tell me exactly what the person... Oh, he specifically asked of me. Ha. Huh. Listen, girl. I'm in dear need of money. I need money to pay for my tuition fee. But as it stands now, huh, I'm not interested in this deal. Trust me. I'm not interested now. I'm not interested. Bye. What is it? What is it? Bad market. You don't like the client. I don't like where he lives. I can't even go there. It's only poor people that live there. Wait. So, there is also a social disparity in your line of work. Hmm. Huh. My dear, to an extent I do. Rich people pay very well. 
poor people, they don't pay you well. Secondly, they have this mindset of sapping you off all the juice in you just to get the maximum value of their money. My dear, I'm not ready for that. My friend, my friend, my friendship. Ah, it's not funny. Oh, my dear, you signed for it. So, because I do this job part time, then I have to kill myself in order to survive, right? Mm. Please don't start it though. Don't even start. But, Chimamanda, when is this going to stop? When? I mean, you're the most brilliant student in our department, if not the entire faculty as a whole. Yes. She can do better than being just a sex hawker. Come on. What would you have me do? You're too beautiful, too good for this. You think I do it intentional? You think I enjoy doing this? What would you have me do? My dear sister, I am in this world all by myself. I don't have a mother. I don't have a father. I don't even have any relation to cater for me. The world have beaten me to a pulp. And I have to survive. I know. But there are many things you could do to assist yourself. You can get a part-time job or a boyfriend who can assist you with things you need. You must not prostitute to survive, Maybe my I friend. I have tried that. And I literally became a burden. I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, now, if you're asked to suggest a job for me in this country, the way it is hard right now, what job can I possibly do as an undergraduate to take good care of myself? What job? I've got a lot of things to do. My rent, taking care of myself, my fees, and a lot of things, girl. How do I survive? I Listen, I don't enjoy doing this. I don't enjoy being a prostitute. But girl, I have no other option. This is the only thing I think I can do now to survive, at least for the meantime. Oh, Chimamanda, you can try. Just give it a try out. Please, can, try. We, can, we, can we just switch to another topic? If there's any other thing we can talk about, I would really appreciate it. Have you done your assignment? You assist me now. You put me through. Oh, you put you through, huh? Mm -hmm. I put you through. And you are here, criticizing Mama, me. Mama, you know Buku, but this is your... I beg, shut up. Pick two. Really now? Yeah. Okay. Have it again. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing, babes. I'm just playing. <laughs> You're just playing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Right. Maybe another two, baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't understand. That's what I got. <laughs> no, no, it's not what you got. Okay, you just have pick twos everywhere. But it's my luck. What do you mean luck? I mean, you can't just have pick twos. Whose fault is it? Baby, play this thing. <laughs> I've eaten your money today. Well. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, I paid my school fees with this. Don't worry, we'll find out about Three that. Three pictures cannot shake me. We'll see about <laughs> that. It's okay. It's okay. And, of course, and then, I, I think you should have another one, my love. Then, last card. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't like this. That, there's a you mistake don't, somewhere. You know, you don't like what you were here. We shuffled it and then we shared it. So what are you talking about? Take the freaking picture and then it's the last card for me. <laughs> so you mean you 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 you, you came to my house and you give me four pick twos? Yeah, I haven't seen nothing yet, baby. This is just the beginning. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I will take these two for the last time, and I will come with a bomb. Okay, let's see, let's okay. see how you win. Let's go. Okay, um, and then check up. You owe me hundred k. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> hey. Baby, I have won. Shake it again. Let you, me give you another you bozai. Tell me that to my face that uh, you have won. Yes, I've won. <laughs> I've won hundred things. Let me give you another boza. Okay, no, I'm, I'm I'm serious now. I okay. think I'm laughing too much. That's the reason. Okay. Now you will see game and you will run. <laughs> who they? Who they? Who they? Who they? Print. Baby, I'm gonna I'm gonna win you again. It's Trust me. Four pick twos. No, no, no. I'm gonna. Watch out the thing. Bro. That's one knot. They owe me hundred thousand. What's going on now? What is it? <laughs> this, this is frustrating. I've been trying to send a file to... What is wrong? <laughs> to one of my clients. But he keeps saying he's not seeing it. Okay. I've sent it for like four times now. Okay, let, let me see. No, it's just um, an office document. Uh, 
Well, let me just see if it's something I could help on. Maybe, I don't know. This is really difficult for you. No? Okay. Okay, just a minute. But okay, Chuko. <laughs> the file is not attached. You didn't attach it, so there's no way it would go through. Just hold on, I'll do it for you. Okay. Okay, I've sent it. I've done it. Just check. The next time you want to do it, you have to attach it first before you, it would go through. Okay. Mm. Wow. Yeah, sent. I have to go now. Wow, thank you. Have you confirmed it? Hold on, I'm trying to go to my sent items to see okay. if it actually sent. Oh yeah, it's actually sent. Yes, it's right here. It has gone through, I told you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you very ah. Wow, thank you. Thank you. The next to, time, to... just try and attach it, okay? Let me just one minute, please. Yeah, please check your mail now. Check your mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sin? Oh, finally. Okay, okay. Get back to me then. Yeah. Yes, confirmed. Yes. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Um, hard for me, but that's exactly what I'm working on. I think before Friday, I should be able to forward it to them. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's cool. It's nice then, if that's the case. Guess mm. who assisted me? Who? Chimamanda. understand what is really going on. Listen, I'm not finding this thing funny anymore. Oh. You seem to have forgotten where you met me. Where you picked me for the very first time. Okay. Let me remind you. I am a prostitute. A prostitute and not a seller of intelligence or anything. Please, each time you call me, let's do business. I don't like this so. But I see more than just a prostitute in you. You have more to give. I see an intelligent and resourceful young woman. Not just a prostitute. Don't see that in me. See me as the sex worker that I am. Call me, pay me and then we'll, we'll have it done and then I leave. But I pay you your money in you, full. You don't do the business. I'm not comfortable with that. You're giving me free money all the time. Why? Why? Am I the only person in this world? Why? Why would you always give me money without doing the business? Why? Look, Chimamanda, I'm only interested in the qualities. Can no. you take it easy with me, please? If this is why you call me out all the time about quality or no quality, don't call me. I won't come again. No. You call me, we do business. I'm gonna do.
Why are you looking at me like that? Do you really mean what you just told me? Or it was a joke? <laughs> what joke? I'm not mincing my words. Let me understand you, Pichuku. Let me comprehend you very well. You want to take your prostitute friend to your company's dinner party? I don't understand, okay? What is going on with you? Nothing is going on here, my friend. The only thing going on is your continuous usage of the word prostitute on her. And I don't feel cool about it. Who is she? Is she not a cockwit? But come to think of it, what if people recognize her in the party as a whole? If I want to change the world. Well, I've not really thought about that. You have not thought about that. Yep. Listen. What if people get to recognize that girl? That she's somebody who has warmed their bed before. Won't they be embarrassing? Like I said, I really do not care. Okay? If it will be embarrassing to be with Chimamanda because she's a prostitute, then the men that patronizes prostitutes should share in that embarrassment too because they are prostitutes as well. Okay, Chuku. Sorry, Claire. I mean, you can't be one-sided. You, you patronize prostitutes and you are against them. That's hypocrisy. I'm only grieving out for them. We're not supposed to have this conversation. I just told you what I told you. I am going with her. That's all. You can't change my mindset. You can't, you can't change what I want to do. I know you will be actually. I know. Darling, I just wanted to rest. Alright, hope you are coming today. Mm-mm. I'm still gonna rest again today. Hmm. It's your sudden penchant of resting. Is there anything behind it? There is nothing behind it, my dear. Am I not a human being? After all, all work and no rest is gonna make Chima Manda a sick girl. So let me rest and be strong, okay? Okay, oh, you are right anyways. <laughs> I just wanted to check up on you. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, sure, sure, darling. Thank you so much for checking up on me. I do appreciate it, okay? You are welcome. Bye. Alright, bye. I know. I know I don't subscribe to free money, which I'm definitely going to stop very soon. But the money Kechko has given to me recently is going to sustain me for a very long time. I know like, not like I enjoy doing this work anyways. I just have to survive. Sorry, I don't know what's you now. You know how long I don't stand for this kids. Eh? Sorry now. Sorry. Why do you, 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 you,
Kosoko. Just I'm going to delay you. Come on, come on, get out. No one make I delay your Kosoko. Calm down now. Eh? What do you buy for me? Eh? My love. What do you call me? My love now. What do you buy for me? Me, your love. I told I go soda your mouth. Don't I go fire you. Woody, why? You don't get sense. Why you do like this now? Eh? Would you quarrel? Come on, sense, you okay. Ask me to be doctor, please. I don't need to be inside your room, sir. You do like that. See this girl, oh. Why, why you they always do like this? Eh? Anytime, why, 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 why I want, I want, I want you to your kosoko. You go, you go, you go the para. Like, 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 say she fine, sir. She not even fine. But she fine, sir. But this one, I must jide. Jide kosoko. I must jide your kosoko. Very soon. Just calm down. This morning, you go, you go the best. Papa, what you buy for me? See how she, see how she be, huh? Hey, what's it like for me? Eh? Come down one day, I go to your person. Eh? What is your person? I go to your person. Come down. Baby, I don't like the idea of telling me to stop you here without taking you home. I thought we've been through this. Uh, we've talked about it so many times. Don't worry, my, my house is very close. You don't want me to know your place? Is that uh, what it is? Is it necessary? It's not. I have to go. You don't look happy at all, Chimamanda. Yeah, but not for you, though. I have to go now. Let's talk some other time. Alright, if you say so, it's fine. Okay. Thanks for the gift, anyways. It's fine. This has to stop. I don't know what it is he wants from me, but I must put an end to it. I wouldn't have been talking to him if not that the pay is good. But to what end? To what end, Chimamanda? Besides, there is no free thing anywhere. I think it's high time I maintained my sanity over whatever it is okay to his pain. I cannot do this anymore. He either stick to the business or let me be. He should patronize me and not sympathize with me. What is this? Hello to the beautiful one. How are you? I am fine, thank you. I'm great. Where are you? Are you home? Yes, I just got home not quite long. Came back from lecture, so tired. And I'm about going to have my shower. That's good. So will you come over tonight? I can only come over if you're ready for business. Amanda, do we have to go over this again? I love your company. I, I only want you around me. Then yeah, forget about it. Look for someone else. Because I'm not coming. Why? 
Am I not paying you enough? I, I can pay more if, if that's what you want. J just say how much. I will pay. I know you pay me handsomely. As a matter of fact, you pay me so well without even touching me. Listen, I cannot be fooled anymore. I can't. I'm not seeking for any free thing. And nothing in life is free as well. You and I know that. If you must know, my business has a code. And that is money for hand, bag for ground. You pay me, I do the job, dude. I don't like what you're doing. Please, if you're ready for business, I'll come over. If you're not, then leave me be. I just want to always have you around me. That's all. But well, you can at least um, come over tonight so we talk about that. Listen, I don't want to be doing this for now, honestly. I told you that I came back from lecture and I'm really, really tired. I need to shower. Can we talk about this some other time? Bye, bye, bye. Oh, what is this? Uh, 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 Aman. Knock 14 years, come on for, for your age, make you day more younger. Uh, eh? My love, calm down now. But seeing that they follow you, please. Wait, what are you coming on? My love. Which, which, which one be your love? No, be, no, be talk say uh, you know love me before. Um, forget that one now. You know, no, see, a be woman. Sometimes I go to do small, small shakara. A shakara you do? Yes. Hey, uh -huh. So that's why you do all those why? Yes, now. Nah. I talk him. You know this, I love you. You love me? Plenty. You love me plenty? Yes. I, I approve him now. Approve him. I see you. Approve him. Peace. Start from there first. See you. See you. It is an only kiss. Me and you. Look. <laughs> what? Look, I even do the other thing. The other thing. Zuka, Zuka, Tada. <laughs> Screw, screw, screw. I talk him. So go do the other thing. Yeah. Hey, we will not go. Hey, I talk him. I will engage the lady. Yeah, engage the lady. Yeah, I was saying, what would you do? You don't consider the lady. Oh, yes. Hey, we. Let's start now. Yeah. You know? yeah let's do. Just spawn kiss first, but yeah. You, you want kiss? Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't be that. But me have you been the kiss now? now, now. What's happened? You are who be the kiss? I didn't be that. Hi. Hi. She did. See your life. You see your life. So if your madness don't follow you, so they enter inside your dream. You see your life. See, forget that. Move, start, move, start. Hey, come on. You get mad. No, not try me. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How can they call you? Madman. I didn't be this, so. Jesus Christ of Nazareth say hey, this girl I want you. This girl what you said I, 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 I want you to so call this girl. So I did it not. I on you did. Hey. Jesus Christ of Nazareth say hey. I will just collect this thing sharp sharp for that dream. Collect and sharp sharp. If we will rape and for dream. Please if but by now you wrong girl belly. So I gotta call me.
Oh, I'm with Marissa. Who gave you these bags? And uh, Madam Amanda. She just bring and say, make I give you. Say she no one use them. Amanda was here? Y yes, sir. Where is she now? Uh, she entered one taxi. Where can I come? Where can I come out? Just now. Now, now. Uri! Uri! Take, take these bags inside. And open the gate for me now. Okay, sir. Well, baby, mm -hmm. if I wake up, sit down with me. What's happened? You hmm? can't talk with that. When did you sit down with you before? What you talk now? Before? You know they sit down with me. That one not before. When last you sit down with me like this? Um, now you cause some. What now I do? Yes, the best thing you just did. They do. They do better discussion with you. They discuss better thing with you. You could just for nowhere bring nonsense talk, scatter everything. Which nonsense talk? I beg the food sweets. The food. Who <laughs> <laughs> baby? You know now, you say you, you na cookie. Ari. The best cooker of me. Ari. Best cooker. Ari. <laughs> no, Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Um, um, Jide, Afa, what's your name? What's your for you? Hey, which one we, Auntie Chimamba, that carry the gifts work and give her, come back? I don't know. She don't tell you anything? I don't know, I don't know what's up, she don't tell me anything. What I know, be say, I know she carry the thing, come give me. I go give her that. Say she no want them. She no need them. She no want. She no use them. What's happened with that? Just like that. Just like that, you Hey, hey! People where God give me ash, they no sabi use a sit down. Chite, imagine now me where God give that kind of opportunity. It go hot. It go hot. What's it go hot? Ah, but this year, Chite, that auntie fine. Auntie fine, she she just did. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. But you get what you're talking about. You see, people wear, 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 wear gang ash. No fish is done. Which nash you talk? They don't sit down ash. Why? You know, you know she didn't sit down before now. Nah. You don't understand. I mean, say, she set. She just did. Oh, she's in a set man, if not that one. She set where, where? But you said, you fine too now. Nah. Come, 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 get out. What do you do? No, no, no. What's the bring that later? What's with this one? Hi. Bless, I'm going to give you this one. You don't, you don't make me say, I don't, I don't, I don't even lose appetite. Eh? Yeah? See, I won't, I won't ask you one question. Wait. I like this, I don't find him. Eh? See, as I do like this, I don't be fine, boy. You know they see my fine face with my pussy cat's eye. I mean, not like him. Eh? See, I go get money soon. I get money. I get, I get one running ticket. Where we say, this weekend, 
after you get the next one and the upper one, once the, 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 the thing enter, I get for six million. I could take care of you. Why do you do like this? We should be your ma. We should be your ma. Make it not be said I insult you, they insult me to your ma. Make it not be said I insult you, they insult me. Which which kind of game be this one, sir? See, small people want eat now, they do this thing. Just because I I I I want I want I did push you that momo momo when you reach eighty naira, I be rich. You go past eighty, you go be eighty one naira. Now 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 you know you don't want make make I rest. Mind yourself, oh. See food now, don't even tire. I just manage to eat this, but don't be saying the food. You say you fire too, sir. See you waiting on guy the car. You know, see the 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 spherical in shape. Come carry this morning. They 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 misbehave. This girl all day without her picking your call. I mean, why are you so drawn to her? She's a prostitute, for God's sake. Look, Greg, I can take everything from you, but you see, calling my woman a prostitute, that is what I cannot take. She will call her name is Tima Amanda. She doesn't stop the fact that she's a corporate, isn't she? Okay, okay, okay. I won't call her names anymore. But he doesn't change the fact that she's woman. I mean, what are you doing with a girl like that? You do not deserve her. What else do you want from her if not sex? I mean, what? That girl is more than that to me. She's a whole package. It's not all about sex. Okay, Jim. I do not know what this is all about. But I will fix it. Don't waste your energy trying to fix what isn't, is it isn't broken. Listen, you are my homeboy. All you have to do is to support me and not to break me down. Then give me a reason why I should support you. Give me a reason why I should. I just said it now because you're my homeboy. You're my friend. Anyway, it's past closing hours. I, I need to. I need to. Um, I need to take my leave. Catch up with food, and I have a meeting. I remember. Taking her calls now.
you doing here? How did you find me here? What is this now? Listen, I've told you and I'm telling you again. I am not interested in whatever it is you're bringing to the table. What is this? Listen, if you're looking for a counselor, you can go to the state hospital. There are lots and lots of them there lazing about looking for whom to work for. Leave me alone. Let me do my business in peace. How did you even find my house? Who gave you the address? Huh? Good morning. Beautiful Chimamanda. It's obvious you're just waking up from sleep. But your beauty still shines through though. Hi, oh, Chimo. What is it? Come on, what what have I done? I mean, what do you want? Because I can't possibly believe that a handsome looking young man like you with a good job will be doing this. Always around a prostitute like me. I'm a prostitute and you know. What are you doing here? What exactly do you want from me? What? Well, this man standing here with all the qualities you just said now is here just for one reason. Since you stopped taking my calls and you've been avoiding me, I have decided to come tell you my mind. Which is? I'm in love with you, Chimamanda. I don't care how we met. I don't care who you are. Hey. But the woman I see in you is whom my heart yearns for. Okay, Chu. You are all I want. Uh, um, you know, I... The truth is... I lack words, actually. I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know. So you have to give me time to think about this whole whole thing you just said to me. So I It's fine. I don't have any answer. It's fine. It's, it's fine if you want to think about it. And um I'm glad to, to meet you in good shape and in good health. I'm actually happy to see you again. So I'll let you be. I don't spend too much time thinking. Yes is always the best answer. Hmm. I've heard you. I love you, Chima Amanda. Even though I'm not expecting you to say anything, though. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> now, would you please pick your call any time I call? I love you. Even though I'm not expecting to hear anything from you. Thank you. Bye. Hey. What a bye day. Okechuku, have you ever thought of how many men that girl must have slept with? 500, 1000, or even more? Do you think you can live with the reality? Okay, let me ask you. Do you know how many men that must have slept with the woman that you're going to marry? Do you think she's alone in this? Do you know how many women that are not tagged prostitutes, but they are doing the worst? Did I remind you? Back in school, the girl that lives in our lodge. Have you forgotten that day in, day out, different cars come to carry her? Are they picking her for, 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 for morning and prayer or crusade? Should I go on and on? So many of them. 
So just stop saying all these things you're saying. The one that you will marry tomorrow, are you sure she's a virgin? Do you know how many men whom and are we? Eh? Okay, Chuku, you're not... Please, just leave this thing. You don't have to convince me. This is my life. Chimamanda is the woman I want to marry, and that is fine now. I have made up my mind. You, you ought to know me by now now. Whatever I make up my mind to say this is it, you can't convince me. Talk more of you. You will be serving every night, almost every night, they carry strip as they preach to me. You can't preach to me, man. I didn't know you were calling. That's okay. But I need to see your mood ever since you were in class. Amanda, wait. I hope you're not pregnant. Ah, what is wrong with you, Ngozika? How do you mean pregnant? Far from it. Please don't even say it. Who's pregnant? Then what is the problem? And do not tell me it's nothing because your mood already says it all. Come on, baby. You can talk to me. What is the problem? Talk to your friend. I'll tell you. Just come with me. Let's go to our spot. Okay. We can relax and talk. Mm, that don't really like this, your mood. I was actually expecting him to query me why I haven't been taking his calls or replying his test messages. But no. <laughs> the feeling was on a totally different level altogether. Hmm. My dear, I can't even explain how much this guy loves and cares about me. Ever since I met him, he's been nothing but love, care, adoration, concern. I've lost words. Honestly, I don't know what to say. With everything that has happened, I am truly convinced that he, he loves me. So, what about you? Do you have feelings for him too? That is what I'm saying. I do have feelings for him. That is why I've been running away because I don't want to give myself false hope. Do you understand? I do. I understand you. Well, if I should say, this is indeed a great news. But, baby girl, don't you think the odds are not in your favor at all? My fear, actually. I have weighed the reality on a balance. Girl, my background, how we met, mm -hmm. his social life, and of course, how my, my line of business is definitely going to affect whatever it is we're going to have in the future. That is my problem. The impropriety is too much. 
I said, Tin Okechuku's proposal is like putting 10 bags of cement on a chair. Eventually, it's going to carry it. But with time, my darling, it will surely collapse. And it's, it's, it's so going to hurt me. But just like they say, love conquers all. But would love conquer this one? Mm -hmm. Would mm. it? <laughs> In as much as I would want to say yes to your question. But this kind of love you're talking about only exists in the movies. Not in the society we are in now today. But some are exceptional. Can't mind be exceptional? <laughs> exceptional, you say? And then the question is, what makes you think the world will change her narrative just because you, Chimamanda, is involved? Come on, girlfriend. Let's be realistic here. If I should advise you, I think you should focus your energy in trying to get the better version of you. Rather than massaging a thought that has the potentials of hurting you emotionally and psychologically. It's not good for you. It won't be good for you at all. I understand. I've thought about the danger and everything. Trust me, I'm not finding it funny. I feel so bad that I'm trying to ruin the beautiful chapter that God is about to give to me. I'm not happy about it. But just like they say, life isn't balanced at all. It is what it is. I know, my friend. I understand how hard this can be. But just see it as if it never happened before. Your life is much more important than any romantic relationship now, all right? You're strong girl. You'll be fine. I know you. Okay? Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. So, shall we? I'm tired. Let's go, Chimamanda. Go. Yeah, let's go. Come. I'm going towards that direction. Come on, let's go. Stop. Hey. Huh. Angie, you would have allowed me to call my Kekema. You don't see now. Of standing here, eh? There's no kiki yet. You no know, better walk down. This is not the place we can get. If you get to the junction now, we'll get kiki faster. You don't have strength to walk. Well, let's stand now. <laughs> hey, kiki is passing now. Let's go down. Oh, yeah. Bye, Paul. I believe every word okay said to me. I know he was speaking from his heart. I know he truly cares about me, judging from how he has treated me since we met. But can a tortoise and an elephant be friends? Even if they do, the communication will suffer. It will suffer a great deal because of their huge difference in size. Okechuku and I are words apart, like Ngozi said. This is not a movie where love wins all the time. It has to say no to your proposal, Okechuku, but that's the right thing to do. I have to move. I really have to move on from this. This is not possible. This would destroy me. I have to move.
I'll see him. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hi. Hey. See what you don't get the job. Hey, we. Come on, Kobe. Kobe in the bear wood. Kobe to dig. And I'm going to go. They, 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 they make sugar for me. Amanda. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Um, just have a seat. You're welcome. What, what do I offer you? Mm, nothing at all. I'm all right. To my Amanda, well. It's fine. I won't put you further. Because I know you will not agree. Alright, trust me. Fine. Amanda. Okay, so. So, how have you been? I've been alright. I've been fine. Thank you. Amanda. I want you to relax. Calm your nerves. Okay? Look. I don't know what your decision would be. But whatever it is. I promise. I will not be upset. Okay. Okay, Chuku. You've been so kind to me ever since I met you. You have accorded me respect. Respect that I didn't deserve. I like you so much as a friend. Trust me when I say that. I like you so, so much. What can't you see the girl? The gap is way too much. And in another life, in another world, I would gladly accept your proposal with both hands. In all honesty. But in this life, my dear, we are worlds apart. You, you met me, you met me as a prostitute, a low life prostitute for that matter. And that would always ring a bell whether we like it or not. Even if we try so hard not to allow it come, it will always come. I know it will be a problem between us if we ever have a thing. I've really sat down to think about this. That is why I've come to tell you. You don't see me as an ingrate. I want you to understand. Understand me from where I'm coming from. I like you a lot. Trust me, but I cannot accept your proposal. I can't accept it. I can't date you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Amanda. I just want love to begin. Shut up and 
I would say that meeting you was a pleasant coincidence. What I feel for you and what I've asked of you is my deliberate heart desire. I have thought about all of these things. I have thought about what people are going to say. I have thought about the society. But I've come to tell myself, I've come to ask myself, and I'm sure this is what I want. I don't care. I don't care what your life has been like before now. I don't give a damn. What counts is what I feel for you. What counts is, are you ready to make that positive change? I know how I met you. And I know who you have been since then. You, you've been stalking me? Well, I don't know if you're going to call that stalking, but the truth is that I, I have been to that spot I met you when you stopped picking my calls. So I was told you rarely come for business. But whatever, uh, really. Am Amanda. Amanda, can't you see it in my eyes? I love you. I don't care. I don't care what you've been through. What counts is since I met you. What counts is, are you ready to make that positive change and don't go back on it? Who you wear is immaterial to me. I love you. Can you stop thinking like that? Look. If I tell you I have been discouraged by friends, They've tried to talk me into staying away from you, but the more they try to do that, the more I love you more. This is a decision I've made to myself. I'm not surprised you're thinking like that, but I'm telling you, I am telling you I really don't care. I don't care. Now tell me. Don't you feel anything for me? <laughs> I, I do, I do, I do, I do feel something for you, but. I'm still wondering why you rushed to wear your clothes. I don't even know. Okay. What now? We are officially lovers. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure you're not carried away by your emotions? What is really going on in your head? True love flows from the heart and not the head. When the love is genuine, the head has little work to do. A wise lady once told me that. Yes. But, what if the head becomes very active? What if your friends and family finds out about me? <sighs> My family and friends, I... 
I'm old enough to make my own decisions. I am old enough to call the shot I want. What counts is the love we have for each other. What counts is the ability to stand together to fight any storm that may come our way. Of course I know, I know people will talk, families will talk, enemies will fight. But the ability to stand together without minding, I love you. That is what matters. I don't care about your past. I don't care what you've been through. I have been through things too. Your words suits my soul like the cool breeze of the night. I know we may not have met in an ideal place. But I promise you something. I will be that your ideal woman. That kind of woman you've always wanted. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Okichibu, for loving me against all odds. I love you too. Thank you too for loving me.
Thank you so very much for your kind gestures. We really appreciate it. May God bless you. Mm. The last item you brought, I stay here. And now you're here again. Mm -hmm. May God bless you more for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Please manage me the way I am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. The children are here to pray for the visitors. Oh, that would be nice. Let's go for the prayers. The children are with you. Oh, thank you very much. Serious, are you? I mean, do people still do this in this 21st century? Of course. It doesn't happen only in movies, it happens in real life as well. Are you see, as I talk to you now, the girl is still in the guy's house. This is really funny. Mm -hmm. What is he going to do now? No leave, no transfer. <sighs> well, I don't blame her, anyways. She wants a good life, I guess. I mean, who knows, like with that? Too. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, obviously, the girl has seen that the guy is doing so well, so she doesn't want to leave. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Especially when, you know, you have so much... <laughs> sorry. So when you have, like, lots of money going... Oh, sorry, my brother. Hello? What's up? Oh, really? Okay, okay, that, that, that's fine. When? Okay, 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 no problems. I'll be expecting you then. Okay, bye. My brother. The one you told me about? Yes, he said he's coming back next week. Whoa, is he done with his mission abroad? Oh yes, uh, not really. There's a new project that he's coming back for. Then when he's done, he will go back. Is he going to be staying for long? No, I think one or two weeks. I just hope he likes me. Of course, he doesn't have a choice. Hmm? He has to like my baby. Really? Hmm? And besides, he won't be staying here with us. He will just come visit and, you know, go back to our parents. He likes staying there each time he's back. <laughs> you give me joy. Yeah, I give you joy. You give me happiness as well. You give me joy, joy, joy. <laughs> In my heart, Stop. you see. Come here, come here. Come here. Stop. Come here. So what next? I mean, what do you intend to achieve with all of this? One step at a time. This is early days and I think um, we are having a good ride so far. You really amuse me, okay? I swear you do. I mean, you know up till now I've not really come to terms with the reason behind all this shenanigan. Come on, boy. What are you playing at? Shenanigan. Is that what you think of this? I mean, tell me. How else would I explain the fact that the managing director of melting oil and gas is crazily in love with an ex-sex worker and begging for her love? I mean, can you explain that to me? Well, if you must know, I'm being honest here, you're my, you're my boon companion, right? I love Chima Amanda, 100%. And she loves me too. Man, count me out. Count me out on this. 
case anything goes wrong. Uh, Greg, as expected, I don't need anyone's validation. Before now, I think I know this whole thing is going to be like this. Chima Amanda being a sex worker doesn't make her less of human. I don't know how you people judge things. I love her, that is what counts, and she loves me too. Besides, we all have our pasts, don't we? Okay, Chuku. Don't you think you are playing with fire? Okay, tell me, how long do you expect to drag this? One month? Two months? Okay, let me remind you in case you have forgotten. You once dated a pastor's daughter, am I correct? And I could remember vividly that you tagged that relationship the worst relationship you have ever been in. Whatever. <laughs> I can remember how you talked about her. She's an angel, she's this, she's that. What happened? You went to her phone and you saw loads of test messages from different men. Pastor's daughter. You're trying to justify your actions, right? I'm not trying to justify any actions here. I'm just trying to remind you what happened. <laughs> Do you ever believe that pastor's daughter could be like that to you? It's a clear lesson. I'm just trying to tell you, you don't judge a book by its cover. You don't do that. You know what? Fly your kite. <laughs> well, it's, it is what it is, really. Fly your kite. So you don't, you don't judge people like that, really. Stephanie. <laughs> Terry's very boots. You all, know. All things beautiful. All things beautiful. <laughs> all these tiny Chinese fade away. Ah, madam. Have you seen Ure? Again. I don't see her more. Okay, I've been saying, I say you want to go get something. I don't know where go. And she didn't tell you where she was going? No, she don't talk. Oh. That's really unlike her. Madam, that one no be, you know, be like Ogamoto. Go check who that is. Hurry. With a shine like auntie's bread. <laughs> See, as you bless you, you're all gonna tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You've not changed though. You're still cracking me up. Eh? You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Is your is your guy in? Uh, he never come back. He never he never come back. If you're the office or anywhere, I don't know. Hi. Hold okay, on. I'll go get for you. I just hold on. Hi. See your boots. Hello? Hi. Yes. Okay, you're at the office. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right. <laughs> Okay, my open gate, uh, no, 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 there won't be need for that. Uh, I'll, I'll come back later, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Hi! I'll show you buy take, something for me. Of course, of course. Let's take care of your son.
Who is that? Madam. Nah. Uh, okay, brother. He just yeah. come. Ah, where is he now? Uh, uh, you want open gate for me? Come. Say, you can't answer one call. Come, come out. Say, you come back later. He didn't come. He didn't want to come inside. No, no. Hi. Why did he come before the weekend? And then he got here. He didn't. He didn't want to come inside. I don't know why you're. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Okay. Um, that's fine. If Uri comes back, make sure she sees me. Okay. Who do we have here? My big brother. <laughs> the aunt. Oh, bro. The CEO himself. <laughs> Happy to see you. Good to see you, bro. Yeah. Good to have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> you see, when I, when I, when I saw your, your missed call, I, I said to myself, how come? Because you told me you'd be coming back next week. Yeah, it, it was supposed to be next week, but plans changed, you know. My foreign contractors wanted me to sign some contracts, you know, so I had to come back because they refused our team over here signing this contract. They, they needed me to do it myself, so here am I. What's up? <laughs> yeah. So. Big money moves, man. <laughs> No, your tap is really flowing. You can say that again. If you, if you, if, you, if I have a tap, then you have an ocean. Oh, look, I'm down, you know you've I'm set down. a lot of standards <laughs> for me. I'm just trying to meet up the pace, you know. <laughs> no, I'm proud of you, kid, bro. Really, I'm very proud of you. Thank you, thank you. You know, I, I just drove straight to your house and I thought you were going to be at home. So I oh. got your call before I came here, you know. That, that means you met her? Hmm? My woman. Or is she not home when you got there? I, I, I wouldn't know. I stopped at the gate when I saw your call, so I just rushed out. If I had known, I would have said hi to her. So. Oh, okay. Check. So that means you, you meet her next time, no? That wouldn't exactly be possible. I already booked a flight to Abuja by 4 p.m. today, so. Wait, you, you, you're traveling again today? Yes, I'll be going back to Canada. I already completed the arrangements. I need to be at Abuja so I can fly. You know, Canada, it's like 12 hours, so a lot of traveling and... Yeah, I get it. Tight schedule. Yeah, bro. Just <laughs> life wow. of a hustler, bro. No, that, that's, that's good. That's what we're praying for, you know. Exactly. That's what we're praying for. Wow. Okay, no problems now. Uh, when are you coming back? Very soon, pretty Very soon. soon. I, I won't take long, just some okay. business deal, you know. <laughs> <They're odd. laughs> the okay, I, I hope you still have a um, few time. We could go for lunch or something. Why not? Why okay. not? How, how would I refuse this proposal from you? Um, uh, <laughs> You're looking all chubby. Oh, oh, well, my girl is taking care of me. What I do you expect? <laughs> I can see. Okay, just, just hold on. Let me just send this send this mail to you. Sure, bro. Sure. So we can go. Someone wow. is cashing out greatly. Oh, 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 money. Oh, money. Oh, money. That's you, know? you right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, money. Okay, money, you know. Uh, You're doing fine, bro. I you too. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you called mom? Ah, I wanted to surprise her as well. So, okay. I'm pretty surprised. Alright, let's go. Okay, not a lot has changed Yeah, Jide, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, Oga, yeah, um, your brother has been coming the time we know day. 
But you know enter inside though. Oh yes, uh, I know. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Welcome, sir. How was your day today at the office? Well, it was fun and hectic. Mm hmm, interesting. I would like to hear about the fun part of it. Tell me about it. We and meanwhile, your brother was here earlier today. Oh, yes, yes. I, he called me, so um, I told him to come see me at the office. Your brother was here, but he didn't come inside. Maybe he doesn't want to see me. Oh, no, my love, don't say that. You see, actually, when he came, he was about coming inside. The I called him to come to the office to see me. Oh. Yes. So why didn't he come here with you then? Because he, he got an urgent call uh, that he needs to be in Canada for some meeting like that. So he, he left for the airport uh, from my office. Oh, I see. Don't worry, you'll see him. You'll see him when he comes back. Okay? He's actually a sweet guy. Like you? Well, I wouldn't really say like me. I think more than me. I totally disagree with you, darling, because you are the best. As a matter of fact, no one is close to you when it comes to sweetness. <sighs> wow, so... Finally, someone um, <laughs> someone accorded me with some compliments. You oh know? my goodness! Don't tell me you were expecting that. Your head is big now, right? <laughs> Very big. <laughs> you come here. You are really sweet. So don't be so excited when I say so, right? Okay, darling. I want you to go in there, have your shower while I set the dining for us. <laughs> what did you prepare? What would you prefer? Anything sweet from you. I know. I know what you like. <laughs> Come here. Oh, That's Baby. You've been on your phone since. You're not even talking to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I'm just trying to make a transfer, but the network is bad. That can wait now. If his network is bad, you let it be. Okay? Does that the person needs the money now? Okay, fine. Gone. Done, done. Yeah. Um, yeah. My love. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to ask. You once said that you changed your name to Chimamanda. In other words, you want to know about my story now? Exactly. Everything. Tell me everything mm. I need to know. Oh, it's quite long, but I have to begin from somewhere. Exactly. My growing up was fun. Really fun. My parents were well to do. They loved and pampered me so much. They made sure I lacked nothing as a child. They gave me everything I wanted. I mean, I was the only child for 13 years. I mean, that should tell you how much love they showered on me. But as time went on, people became so jealous. Hatred set in from both adults and children. Although I was still living in the dreamland, regardless, until the 3rd of July, 2010, a day I will always, always live to regret. Good day. Anybody at home? 
Konie. Tam powiem o koniec. Why are you crying? Where are your parents? Officer, what happened? Good day, sir. You must be Mr. Odewa. Yes, I am. What happened? Why is she crying? Well, Mr. Odewa, what I am about to tell you will be very painful. You have to take heart. Officer, stop beating about the bush. Please, what happened? There was an accident that happened on the highway that leads to this village. Accident? As we speak, the vehicle involved was badly crushed. Two persons have been confirmed dead. She is the only survivor. She gave us the address and directed us here. What? Do you mean to tell me that my brother and his wife is dead? Yes, sir. Please, you have to come with us to the children. <laughs> Mortuary, where the cops are being deposited. To identify them, sign the necessary documents before they will be released to you. No, 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 it can't be. This can't <laughs> be, oh God, oh God. My brother, my only brother. Why me, God? Why? Why? So, this is how my brother-in-law and his wife just died like chicken. Just like that. Right. Eh? Hey. Okay, some mad. Eh? That one was a very kind man. Hey. You know, I was surprised. When I saw two policemen with Obianuju in tears. The next thing I heard was that my brother, Obona, and his wife were involved in a car accident. Hey. I went to the scene. I couldn't believe what my eyes saw. The car was badly crushed. Oh. And an eyewitness account states that the accident was strange. I knew it. Eh? Because this, this accident is not ordinary at all. Somebody must be behind us. It's, it's too strange. Of course, I'm serious. Somebody is behind it. That accident was controlled from the spiritual. Mm. That death is not ordinary. And whoever did it is within us. Mm. It's not far fetched. Oh, neighbor. Mister? Yes. No. <laughs> Are you suggesting that a family member or a relative is responsible for this? Mm. Of course, not some suggesting. I know. Eh? Mm. Then who? Who? Who Who else? This little witch. Little witch. If she's not a witch, how will she survive such an accident? The accident happened. She flew out, killing her parents. You know, I was wondering how someone could come out from that badly crushed car unharmed. Whoa. You need to see this car. Whoa. Could it be hmm. that Obianuju killed her parents? Could it be all? Oh, no, she killed her parents. I know. Did she kill her parents? Did she kill her parents? Did she kill her parents? Did she kill her No problem. she kill them now. Which? You are looking at us. You are not kissing her parents. Little oh. witch. Oh, 
problem. Can't you hear her? She's talking yes, to you. I'm here. Speak up now. Ah, but uncle, I don't know what you want me to ah. say. I am confused. Hmm. Are you hmm. You better be. Hmm. I said you better be. <laughs> Pretense! Pretense! Your brother and his wife died in a car accident. Yes. Yes. Mm. Ah. But it was not ordinary. She used them for a sacrifice in her coven. Hmm. What did she say? What the great prophet has said. Speak up now. No, Uncle. I didn't kill my mom and dad. And I am not in any coven. She's lying against me. Shut up! How dare you? How dare you call me a liar? Do you want to talent me? Do you know who I am? Udenwa. Say what you've caused. Why did you bring this little rat here to insult me? I am sorry, prophetess. It will not happen again. I am sorry. Better. Or both of you will face my rot. Thank you, great prophetess. What must I do to save myself and my family from her? Speak to me. I can hear you. Mm. Mm. Exposing her, weaken her powers a bit. But you must bring her back in seven days' time for cleansing. Mm. Yes. Thank you. The cleansing will weaken her spirit, but you must watch her closely. Her parents over pampering her is the cause of all this. Mm. Don't let yourself to fall the same victim. Thank you, great prophetess. Mm. Now mm. just open my eyes. Mm. Leave! Leave now! Mm. There you go. I told you that I knew that that girl is evil. She killed her parents. That girl killed her parents. But nobody believed me when I said it. That is strange. Very, very strange. I am still in shock. How can that small girl be so wicked to the point of killing her parents? What will she gain from that? Power, promotion, whatever you like, call it. Call it. And I'm sure this is the ultimate prize to get promotion and power from her evil kingdom. She sacrificed her parents. If she can do that, then who are we? Can you hide one? Oh, what point is that? The prophetess asked that we come in seven days for cleansing. 
Nay. Better. Better before she sacrifice all of us. Nay. I think we should send her out of this house after the cleansing. Makana has no equals in the Likuni Jogun Gaji Lini. Eh? You could come call him, no, no. If you open me, do something about it. So this is how my brother and his wife lost their lives. It is strange to think that their own daughter killed them is a hard pill to swallow. It is very, very strange. What a word. What a mystery. All I am saying is that I can't live in this house with this witch. I don't want to die the way her parents did. Her parents have sacrificed to the marine kingdom. Mba. I don't want to die. People can take her to another place, but not step in this house. Mm -mm. No. I understand your point of view. But we cannot throw her away from her father's compound. Where do you want her to go? No kwa. Take her to, now, to her maternal home now. Forget you couldn't near corner though. You know that her mother is an orphan. Who is she going to meet there? Like mother, like daughter. Who knows if it was her mother that killed her parents too? Eh? She wants to come and kill my family and I. She wants to make us the victim here. Nah. Remember, remember what the prophet has said though? Take this girl out of this house. Ah, uh -uh, victim. You know she won't be there. She did what she did because nobody knew her true identity then. She won't dare it again. If she tries it, I will skim her alive. Sister, please, if I may come in, I think you should allow her to stay. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just lost her parents. Eh? And it would be very unfair for you to send her out of her own father's compound. And you know her father was a very good man. Very, very good man. Oh, you can do Then take her along with you. No? Take her to the city with you. Kagini Abileva. She can be selling gala and other things in the traffic if her evil mind would allow her. Um, no, sister, no, that one will not work. I'm very busy. My work will not allow that kind of arrangement. Eh? Okay, sister, see what will happen. Just allow her to stay with you for now. Maybe at some point I'll come and pick her. Hmm? To avoid people's mouth. You know, people talk, 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 talk. Mm -hmm. you know what? Hmm? Who cares? I don't care what people will say. When, when my life and the life of my family members are at stake, how could be that I don't care? I'll say what people will say. What is my business what, what people will no. say? No. No. Let her stay. We will keep an eye on her. She will never try any rubbish again. No. I am accepting this because my sons are in the boarding school. But warn her. Warn her. If anything should happen to my daughter or my sons when they come back from school, I will kill her myself. Don't worry. Don't worry. She will not try it again. I am here. Uncle, auntie, I didn't kill my parents. I am not a witch. I am innocent of all this accusation. God in heaven will bear me witness. I am not a witch. Come on, get out from this place also. Come on, get out. There's no witch in for God. Do you know God when you kill your parents? Eh? Do you know God when you kill your parents? I'm not a witch. Where are you? Take her along with you. What kind of work do you do in the city, sir? That work will not permit you to take her along with you. Or say, take time. Take time. Be a witch here. Be a witch here. Take your time in this house. You see this? Nine, nine, half a marker. Good evening, sir. 
Sir, please, can you help me lift up the firewood on my head? I don't need you. Can you be able to carry this firewood? Yes, I can carry it. Just that I can't lift it up. If you insist, I will help you. But I will advise you to divide it into two because of your health. Huh? Thank you very much for your concern. But I insist. I will help you, don't worry. Is it good? Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. God bless you. Ibu Chukonye di ma. Ibu Chukonye di ke papa. Apwa di bu alpha and omega go. I carry this more thing. Where did you go to? I want to gather firewood as instructed. This more thing since morning. Since you took a this more thing you came back with you call it the firewood. Where are you coming from? Where did you go? I didn't go to any other place except the bushes. If you like, tell me the truth. If you like, don't. I wasn't even expecting you to tell me the truth. Biko. Take this thing you call for your wood to the backyard and can fresh me water. Okay, now, now. Think good to other places. Okay, take it. Can I fetch me water? You go. I'm hungry. Is that a greeting? I'm hungry now. Eh, so bad, your, your food will soon be ready. You go. Eh, uh -huh. are you? Why is you standing here? Okay, can I fetch me water? You go. I will go. Why you go fetch water, my girl? Brother, honestly, I am enjoying this village. You are enjoying it. <laughs> I don't feel like going back to the city. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, Me too. I don't think I'm going back. Eh? Are you I'm serious? <laughs> I'm not going back. Oh my God, bro! What a beauty! You can say that again, bro. Let me talk to her. I, I trust you. Hi. Sorry, sorry for blocking your way, okay? I just need your attention. Um, my, my name is... Uh... I don't care who you are or what your name is. Let me pass. <laughs> Whoa, you're being too harsh. Listen, we, we came back from the city to see our grandparents. Okay, listen, okay? We, we just want to be friends with you, okay? As you can see, I'm not interested. She's not even beautiful. Don't say that. That girl is beautiful. I know you are angry at her behavior, but that girl is very beautiful. And am I not handsome? You are, but believe me, eh? we will meet her again. Or better still, there are so many beautiful girls in this village. Now, I'm going to have a one over. Have a one My nigga. <laughs> My brother. It's a one over. Let's go.
And then my sister, please can you give me some food to eat? I am very hungry. And and there's no food in the kitchen for me. Did I hear you? You have the guts to enter my mommy's kitchen. Mommy! Mommy! Madam, calm down. I was I was only hungry. Mommy! Oh. I haven't eaten since yesterday, Ada. Benji, what is it? You can't just believe what my ear just heard now. In fact, they have to tell you what she told me. Abenuju, what did you tell my doctor? I asked her to give me some food, but I am very hungry. What you know? There's no hello. She says she entered your kitchen to look for food. Eh? Abenuju. You entered my kitchen. After all the warnings. Oh, you want to kill me and my family, okay? What happened with you? You want to kill us, kiss your parents, okay? Auntie, I didn't want to do that. Hey. I was very hungry. Hungry, boy. Nico. You can ask me to poison. Auntie, please. Look at me. Sorry for yourself. I'm sorry for that. Auntie, no! Auntie, no! It's sand. Ah! <laughs> and what do you think you are doing? So, 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 Baba Lapa, you are not done with washing these small clothes. I give you five minutes. Five minutes to be through with this washing. Get your hands in game, man. If you're not done under five minutes and I come back here and see you still washing this clothes, what I will do to you, eh? What I will do to you, on Onuku? You're holding your tongue. Rubbish. And 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 on Pam. Hey, you. Today should be the first and last day you collect dirty clothes in this house without coming to collect mine. Do you hear me? Anyways, as you already know, I'm more particular about the armpits and necklines of my clothes. So I don't want to see any dirty on them. Do you hear me? Thank you. How did it go? Did he buy the land? Do you tell from my countenance? Have a mobile ambulance. Tell me now. Well, I'm just coming from the bank. Uh -huh. As I speak with you now, we are 2.5 million naira richer. Hey! Okay, then. So we are now millennials. Hey! Ah! Hey! 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 For the one, can also wear men enjoy. Okay, what? Hey, again, 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 what are you staring at? And allow her be. Uh -uh. Don't allow her to spoil your joyful mood this afternoon. <laughs> hey. uh, by the way, why is she sleeping hey. this afternoon? I told her to sweep. She can't stay idle. I don't want her to stay idle. So, can I immediately to let her sweep? Daddy, now that you have plenty money, mm -hmm. will you buy for me? Those clothes and all that things are actually to buy. Oh, my angel, I will buy you anything. Everything that you ask of, <laughs> I'm going to buy it for you. Just name it. I want. Mm, car. Okay. I want a car. 
For forgiveness in any way I've offended you, please. I am sorry for all the wrongdoings. Please, just find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> State your mission or get lost. What do you want? <laughs> I am hungry. <laughs> Mommy, she wants to eat. Oh, oh mom. The princess is now hungry. <laughs> She forgot to save some food for herself when she was busy enjoying extravagantly. Exactly. Oh, Chimo. Nem, you are hungry. What to eat? Ew. Yes, I'm. See, even though it's little, I will manage. One more. Oh, man, Nemo. Nemo. Ah, ah. Abenuju. What is this now? What are you doing? And I thank you. God, God bless you. Hey, come back here. You know you're in car. Where did you get going? I'm going to the backyard to eat. Come here. I want to eat very well. Bring it down. <laughs> you are my daughter. No, I'm not. Ah! Uh -huh. I don't want to give I'll her the food. I'll eat from your hands. You know what? Mm-mm. Oh. Why are you crying down? Don't put that food with your tears. Shut mm -hmm. your hand. I'll say so. Blue tea, blue tea. Bring it down. We are hungry. Oh. 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 You don't remember that one? Oh. You don't remember me that time she was that. in the city? I enjoy it, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. No, 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 look like ah. me. Mm. Look at us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no sense. Hey, mommy, this is too sweet. My daughter, I enjoy it. You need to go there. My daughter, I enjoy it. Where am I? My baby, look like me. Oh. Smile. <laughs> smile now. Huh? You don't have to smile again. Smile. One name why? Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll give you the bone, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll give you the bone. Mm -hmm. Hey. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Intentional. Auntie. Who did this? Auntie, it's mommy. It wasn't intentional. Would you? You broke my plate. She intentionally did it. No. Would no, you? No, Auntie. You broke my plate. Auntie, no. Auntie. 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 Auntie.
Father, Mother, why did you leave me alone in this world? Surrounded with a lot of people, yet wish I could be alone. Born to live among men, yet wish I am a tree in the bush. Born free into the hands of people that should love me, yet hatred like iron bands caged me against freedom. Look at my body. Bruises. The hand that should bless me now inflicts pain on me. I wish I died with my parents. Father, mother, please come and take me. Father in heaven, I know you are up there. You made me. And you said in your holy book that your plan for me are for good, not for evil. I know this is not part of your plan for me. God, come and confirm your word. My spirit is down. I'm in pain which no one to run to. The world has failed me, but I know you will never fail me. My parents always teach me to cling to your promise. This was the last gift from my mother. And I've tried to live from the word of that I have read. Isaiah, 41.17 Your word says When the poor and the needy seek water and there is none and there is lungs filled for, for taste I the Lord will heal them I the God of Israel will never forsake them And in Deuteronomy 31.6 be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, not be afraid of them. For the Lord, your God, he is, he is. the doesn't go with you. He will not fail you, nor forsake you. The word of the Lord, oh God. This world, a confirmation that you will never fall or disappoint. My parents named me Obianoju, which neutrally means I came in abundance. I know it's a good name, but because of who you are, Lord, I changed my name to Shimamanda because you will not fail or fall, and I believe you will see me through. This is my prayer through Christ, my Lord.
Hello. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Hope you remembered me. I was the guy that helped you with firewood the other day. Why you're coming back from the farm? Yes, I do. Thanks for that day. You're welcome. Please, my name is Nobi Anuju. You can call me Shimamanda. Sorry. Pardon my curiosity, Chimamanda. I was just trying to know whether if everything is okay with you. I am fine. Thanks for your concern. Sorry, you're not fine. The, the other day I saw you while coming back from the farm, you almost lost in tears. The same thing again today. What could be the problem? Like I said, Jajike, I am fine. You are not. Okay. 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 Then we're going to be. Oh! Me. He was actually asking me a question. Yeah, I was the person What's that helped her with for your other day while she was coming back from the farm. Uh -huh. so what's was my coming. business? Can you go to Bassam? So this is why you killed your parents, yes. okay? So that you can roam about the village. You can sleep with all these dirty stinking village boys, okay? Hey! The son of Mazo Kono, Mozum Bamba Diwe. So I don't need that. I'm one of the wild one over there. So this is what you do up here. You so bad wrong. Ona, I cut the ungwa. Ona, ona. You see you? Hey. No wonder. This is what this girl has been passing through. All is well. Nine, if this is your cousin, I met her in the bush with one of her boyfriends. What? Doing what she knows how to do best. Obianuju, as little as she is. Oh, Obianuju, has he gotten to that extent? No. Eh? That you sleep with men around the village? No, uncle, I wasn't in the bush with anybody. Eh? Yeah. Obianuju, so you're calling me a liar? Mm. Nah, Susan, I'm Obianuju. Uncle, I wasn't in the bush with anybody. He was just asking me a question. Obianuju, so you want to bring disgrace and shame to me in this village? Eh? Obianuju. 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 Beat her up. I don't know where my brother got this. In a boss. In a boss, or it's yours. Where, where? You so bad, draw. You come and meet me here. You come back and meet me in this house. No, don't worry. And what here? Leave her. She will not run forever. Let's go inside. Frock all day. You so bad, draw.
see her. I really enjoy myself today. Have you? I want to go to this. Bad never, combination. You never jump. I have never seen this kind of palm wine in the city. I swear. <laughs> mommy, mommy is denying us a lot. Hey. Is my mouth smelling palm wine? Is that a goosey soup? I bought I I I gum now. I know you did not brush. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you push me. I'm going to brush go. now. You will not peace. I will not peace. Hey. My peace is going inside. Hey, hey. Bro. Yeah, I don't want see, see now. You know what I want to show you? What? <laughs> Hello, my friend. What? Please, Please don't hurt me. Relax. Please don't hurt me. Please. No, 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 no. Please. We are not going to Please hurt you. Please don't hurt me. Don't touch me. Please. 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 You don't see. Mm. Hey? Have she grown to that level? Sarah, she has grown, oh. She has grown beyond that. If that level, I'll be the one who do. I'll get No, I'm even more surprised than you are. I didn't suspect anything until this morning. Hey, mm. what happened? What happened? Hey, what happened? Give me. I saw Ben Ujo in the bush, mm. making it out with her boyfriend. In fact, one of her boyfriends. Small Ben Ujo. Oh, see? It's a small Ben Ujo. No. It's not a small Ben Ujo. I took her home to discipline her. Mata Ben Ujo is back. I'm trying to You know what Ben Ujo did? Fiam. Obanaba. And since then, I've not seen her. Now I can look at the time now. Since morning, I didn't see your banyu. My goodness, this is bad. Okay. I mean, I've been here for two hours now, and I've not seen her too. If you go near me. Small guess of nowadays. We are dealing with all this there. Bad attitude from. Ah. Okay. Huh. Hey, on our corner. Mom, look, she's back. She's bleeding. What? Are you what okay? What happened? What happened? What Is she okay? Benuju is bleeding. Oh, Benuju. Benuju, be quiet. Oh, Benuju, I'll go. Benuju, what is it now? Talk now. What is it? What happened? See blood. What, what is happened it? Now? Talk to me now. That's what happened. Both of them ran off afterward, leaving me there to die. I only managed to come back home with the last strength still remaining in me. Hey! It's a sad. You can lie. Eh? After that, they will say, Oh, you did this. Oh, you did that. I caught you in the morning. I brought you back home to caution you. What you did was to run off again and run back to that same boy. Because I am sure he was the one that did this to you. Okay? Obiano. Hey. Who are these boys? You claim they rape you. What are their names? Can you recognize them? I don't know their name, uncle, but I recognize their face. They said they, they came to visit their grandparents the day they accosted me on my way to fresh water. I didn't get their names. Hey! You didn't get their name. They didn't tell you their name. 
But they told you they came to visit their maternal grandparents. Tell that to them, not me. I can't listen to that, your nonsense. I don't believe you. Okay. What are the names of these their grandparents? Mm. I didn't get their names. One of them was actually talking to me, but I walked out on him. Obianuchu, look at the type of lies Hi. that is coming out from the mouth of a small girl like you. Nice, a small girl. Where you going to name your kene? This one. You call her a small girl. Obianuchu, how can someone jump into telling you? that they came to visit their grandparents without first of all introducing themselves to you. God used your auntie to save you from destroying yourself in the morning. Ooh. But you ran off to continue where you stopped. We will all wait to see the outcome of this. But mind you, whatever the outcome is, you are on your own. No, Nai Mba. I will not wait for the outcome. Obenuju must leave this house for me before she infests my daughter with her prostituting spirit. Obenuju got up alone, She must leave. Nay, I understand you. But where do you want me to send this girl to? This is her father's compound. And. Uh... Hey, hey, get the messiah. And so what? So I shall allow her stay in this house with this. Uh, Bewitching nature, so that she would bewitch my daughter. Up here, no, it will not happen. Is it that she lives or I live with my daughter? Captain Nabada no Fobo. I cannot stay in this house with Obenuju again. Oh, my man. Um, sister Butsu. Ah, Butsu, sister. Hmm? You can't just leave your matrimonial home just like that. There's always a solution to every problem. Solution? What is the solution? Tell me the solution. Keta, keta, tell me what is the solution. The only solution is her leaving my house for me. Okay. okay, sister. What if I take her along with me? Oh my God. Better. Then maybe she can find something useful to do with her life, right? Oh my God. That is the best solution so far. Eh? So when are you leaving? Uh, sister, that won't be a problem. As long as you and my in-law gives your consent. You have my 100% Consent. When are you leaving? My lord, what do you have to say, please? <sighs> well, if you are sure you can live with her, you have my consent. Of course I can live with her. Moreover, she's just a child and I can always find a way to call down her excesses. So bad, she's so just a child. So, bad, so when are you leaving? Sister, I don't want to see her Sister, again in my house. Sister, do you want to know why? Eh? Butsuo, do you know why? Yeah. Would you? Obian, would you? Auntie, you go inside now and take your bath and sleep. Tomorrow morning we are leaving. Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ah, you're still sitting there. Just relax. Tony, this is your house now. Okay? Hmm? She wants it. Ah, uh, easy, easy. Yeah. Hmm? I see, I see what's happening here. Hmm? So, my sister has not been feeling you in the village. Hmm? You see how you're rushing this food? Oh, easy, you will choke. Oh. Ah, easy. Ah, I didn't even bring water for you. Poor girl. Ah. Ah, Bola. Hello, Bola. Yeah, how far? Yes, I'm just coming in from the village. Just now. Nafa. Yes, I'm around. I'm around. Uh-huh. 
you want to come mm, okay so where are you now okay 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 just hold on just don't come in wait for me i'll meet you outside I'll, I'll, I'll meet you outside, don't worry. Okay? Okay, okay. Uh, later. Um, would you... I'm coming, I want to see someone. Now. <coughs> you're choking. Ah, ah, you're choking. In the doba room, okay? I'll go get water for you. Then after that, I'll leave and go and be the person I just answered the call. Okay? Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Can't be, can't be, go. Okay. Easy, you choke, oh. Huh? Do you want you? Take it easy. Huh? Wait, Kiruka, I don't understand. Why do you prefer we stand here instead of going to your house? Or you no longer want me to patronize you? Oh, ah, Bula. Ah, uh, why are you talking like that now? You know you're my best customer. I would never want to lose you. Then uh? what are we here? What are we doing here? Oh, wait, oh. Are you owing for rent? Me, owe for rent? Ah! Bula, don't insult me. Oh. No, I'm not owing for rent. But something came up. Okay, what is that? Let me see. I have a surprise for you. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. Hey, come, come. Wow. That sounds so awesome. I know you like it, bad boy. <laughs> so, 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 how is it going to be? How is it going to be now? Okay. Let's say we we'll see you later in the evening. Okay. You come to my house. Exactly. Okay, but, Bula, it will cost you more than usual. <laughs> That's not your problem. You know what I can do? I believe you. Yes. I believe you. You're too yes. much. <laughs> okay. Aye. I have to get get back home now. Okay. I'll see you later in the evening. Chai. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> oh. This one did. Though this one up, you know, you know, but this one set. Who are you? What are you? Which one? Which this one? I go manager. What do you want from me? Chai. See, the not tell you say now, show work you can't do. See this one. Please don't do this to me. I'm too late, Chai. Please, please. This is where they talk and a super story. See, I don't pay heavily for you. I see, you must satisfy me. Please. Better open the thing now. Let me just. That's all. See this one. Please, I'm too late. Chai. Don't do this to me. Joking. Just relax. Okay, you'll be fine. Hmm? Oh, although you're feeling pain now, but the pain will eventually stop. No? And the pain you're even feeling now is it's small pain, it's not small pain. Hmm? See, why? Why? Why what? This wasn't what you promised me. You said you would help me. So, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? Hmm? You should be happy I brought you from the village to the city so that you can use your God-given talent to make something out for yourself. Eh? You should be happy, you should be grateful I did that for you. Eh? You now you're making me seem like I'm a bad person. But I'm not a bad person. Hmm? Ah, baby girl. Hmm? This is how it works. You have to pay for every single thing you enjoy. The bed you lay on, the food I give you to eat. Even this clothes you're wearing that I bought for you, you have to pay for Nothing is free. You have to work hard. You have to pay for everything that you enjoy. That's how it works for me. Oh. That's how you see me. I'm able to you know, look fine and wear good clothes with all the enjoyment I've been giving that you've been enjoying so that now you're making me seem like I'm, like I'm a terrible person. Elbian Uju. Hmm? And please clean those your crocodile tears. And don't forget, hmm? my sister she says she's not going to accept you back. So you have two choices. You either behave yourself or you live in the streets. And whatever happens to you in the streets, now you sabi. Hmm? That's after I show you out of my house, of course. If you continue behaving like this, I will definitely throw you out of my house. So better behave. And calm down and be a good girl that you are. Okay? 
Why are you still looking at me like that? Come on, stop with all the things. You're making me look bad. You're making me feel like, like, seem like I'm a bad. I'm a very nice woman. I'm very, very nice. You're not supposed to be crying like that. I come, come. Hmm? Right, come on, come on, darling. Right, come on, sit down. Sit down. You'll be fine. Okay? <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> this, this is how it has been, no. This is it, too. All this, this is this house. The maintenance, everything. That's how I've been paying for all my bills. Hmm? So that is what you'll be doing now. This is your life. This is our life now. Okay? <laughs> come, on. stop crying. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Again. Yes. Do you like her? I, I love her. This is doctor's prescription. Mm. Three times every day. <laughs> I'm happy you like her. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, 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 come back, come back. Come down, not so fast, please. Money, money. Wait, yeah. give me money. You, 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 can't you just allow me to test before payment? Eh? You too like paid for service. Let me okay, just give me money first, I beg. Uh-uh. Money is not a problem. See this man. Money is not a problem. Hmm? <laughs> customer, customer. Hmm? If you do like this, man, you will not be having issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, yeah. I feel like go to some, but mm. uh, I'll manage her for now. <laughs> You're a criminal. Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> but please, please, take it easy with her. You know she's sparing you to the business, okay? It's more small. Very soft. Uh, small, I promise. Small. I will take it soft or hard. I enjoy yourself. Um, mm. uh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, enjoy yourself. Do you have best lane in this? Oh, you can't tell you? No, there's no beastly. Don't worry. She has been doing it. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> I like it, doggy. <laughs> Madam! Alright, take this. Hmm? It, it will help clean you up and help you get on your feet. Hmm? And please try and take the drugs first. A customer will be here in an hour time. Auntie, please, and I'm very weak. I have had four men in less than six hours. Auntie, please, can I just rest for the rest of today? Meaning? Eh? Come on, It's like you're taking my kindness for granted. Eh? You know what? Henceforth, hmm? you will not argue with me. You will do what I say and when I say it. Do you understand? Do you understand? Please, be fast with your drugs and shift me to I want to rest. Please, pull me. Pull me, please. Pull me, please. I want to rest. Me too, I'm tired. Me too, I'm tired of attending to customers. Let me rest. Boom me every go come dinner for my uncle. Ah, yeah. 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 Ah, This is more than I can bear. I can no longer continue like this. This woman will continue to use me to enrich herself if I remain here. I have to leave this place as soon as possible before things get out of hand.
one in four one. Hey! Oh, the guy don't go. This man don't go. Don't change, change, change. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to take you back. Hold on. Look at the whole thing. Hey, hey. Yourself. Look at what you're getting. Give me that thing. Give me. The crush. Nah, give, give, give fire to me. I want to worry you now. See Tomorrow, that student, I will go see Mr. here. Tomorrow, student, you know, we're going to go see this guy. Mr. Nah, relax, nah. Look, we're going to go back. 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 Auntie, please come open the door. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming now. Hold on. Hey. Who's your What is it? Oh, what is it? Huh? Huh? Where's your bag now? It's my story. Where is your bag? It's hmm? okay, you can not come. I ran out from Auntie Kiruka's house for the second time. I met a woman on my way and she took me in. I was really happy that I could find home again. She was really nice to me at first. I felt I had found home. Little did I know that I was being prepared for the same reason I ran away from Auntie Kiroka. When I found out, I was so devastated. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to run away. But I was being watched. She said I wasn't going to go anywhere until I pay every dime she has spent on me. I didn't have a choice. So finally I I joined prostitution full time. I hawked my body for a long time before I was able to pay up for the debt. And then I I left. I had to gather money and then rolled myself in the university. And here we are. The story of my life. Very, very sad story. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that you had to you have to go through all of this, the rough parts of life at a very tender age, with no shoulder to lean on. We are all alone. Now I know. Now I know that all those top fronts you were posing were just to cover up for for all the pains you bottled inside. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is fine. Now I'm relieved. Because I've carried this burden in me for years without no one to talk to. I didn't have anybody to relate to. I haven't said it out now. The burden is lifted. And that makes me happy. I mean, I feel better. I'm glad. I'm glad you feel that. Amanda. 
You're a strong woman. It's actually not easy to fight all this all alone. It's just like being in the wilderness, struggling to survive. I'm inspired and also very pained, though you will not understand. Amanda. Touch my heart. <laughs> my heart beats for you. My soul beats for you. This heart is your home. Now I make this promise to you. I will do everything beyond my powers to protect you. I will do everything to give you a good life. I will never leave you astray. I will be there for you. I will be here for you. I will give you peace of mind. You changed your name to Chimamanda because you believe that your God will never fail you. But today, I call you Obianuju. Obianuju. Because you're back in affluence. I love you. I love you. I don't know how else to say, but I love you. I love you too. I love you more. You have been a source of blessing and joy to me since our path crossed. Yes. I gave myself the name Chimamanda because I believe that my God will never fail me. Of course. Even during all the trials and tribulations, I still believed. I had so much hope. And God knows everything. He brought you to me. As a testimony to that, you've changed my life. You brought back happiness that I've not had over the years. You know, from the very first day that I met you, I liked you as a person. With time, I started loving you, but I couldn't tell you because I didn't want you to turn me down. I didn't want to have false hope. Thank you so much, Okejuku. Thank you for loving me against our hearts. Thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for all the joy you bring to my soul. I keep thinking what... What happened the first day. You see... Normally... I don't do prostitutes. Sorry to say that. But on that day... My ex left me. I really don't know what came over me. I said to myself, with all the anger, with all the pains, that I really have to, I just, I just have to free myself, lose myself. And then, I met you. Even when I, tried to be all formal not to you know make you feel welcomed something in me keeps telling me that there is something spectacular about this person 
your kind words has impaired my speech. I have lost words. I don't even know what to say anymore. God has blessed the day we met. Our meeting was was a divine orchestration and not a mere coincidence. Your light has shone through our path. You are a divine blessing to me. All my expectations both in business, both in development, has always been positive since I met you. I've seen increase in everything. It shows blessing. Baby, I love you. I promise. Love me. I will make all those pains disappear from your archives forever. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. People derive joy in seeing others hurt. People can be so mean and wicked. So sad. But that is maybe, the reality of life and there is nothing anyone can do about it. But okay, what if it is really not what it is? I mean, your girl's story. How? What if she made up the story just to get cheap sympathy from you? The story could look real, but she may be lying, you know. Greg, you are only having those doubts because you have really not experienced the ugly side of life. Besides, I know a true story when I see one. You see, I'm only trying to be rational here. Though the story could be true, but... You wouldn't expect her to tell you that she chose prostitution over material things, or possibly for the fun of it. Well, I'm not surprised you said that. Um, you never liked her, even though you've not met her before. But that's okay. I love her. And she loves me too. That is all that matters. Anybody's opinion, observation, suggestion is just a noise to me. Don't look at it that way, Okechuku. I'm only looking out for a friend. Just watching your back. That's all. Thanks for watching my back. Thanks for that. Thanks for being there for me. Thanks for all your... All your... Um, I don't know what to call that, piece of advice and all of that. Can I be left alone now? I have work to do, please. Yes. This is a polite way of asking me out of your office. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. But I just want to go crazy now. <laughs> this is all. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Without pleasure. So. Sure. Honestly, baby, I don't understand the kind of graduates we, we, we are producing these days. If you see this girl, she's beautiful, no doubt, but with an empty skull, nothing to show for it, especially the female graduates. <laughs> what happened, babe? There's this girl that, that submitted her CV. 
no doubt she has excellent results. But if you ask her a simple question, interview, she couldn't even answer. She couldn't even defend the excellent results she has. It's annoying. Now I know why you're angry. No, don't be too angry, baby. Happens. All she does is smile, thinking that her beauty will, 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 will save her from, 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 from... I mean, it's annoying. It's okay, baby. I understand where you're headed. Actually, a cosmet of mine is like that. You wouldn't blame them. Everyone isn't intelligent, okay? Well, my love, I don't think so. I think it has to do with being serious with your studies. It's not just um, sleeping around with lecturers, thinking that... Um, oh, baby, what are you saying? It's obvious. That's what she did. She paid her way through school? Of course, that's what she did. Or maybe, I don't know. Come on, my love, it's fine. It's annoying. <laughs> it's okay. It's a very it's, bad English. It has passed. Oh. Anyway, babe, um... Now that you're done with your exams, don't you think it's high time you have moved in here? Baby, I thought we've been through this. But the house is lonely without Baby, you. Baby, we have talked about this so many times. And I, I've always told you, and I'm telling you now, this is like my house. Anytime you want me around, I will always be here for you. But this idea of moving in here with you, baby, I honestly do not like it. Please, let's just leave it the way it is for now. I beg you. You just keep saying no. I don't... But I'm here with you. If you want me to be here tomorrow, I'm going to still come. But carry my bags. Oh, baby, come on. <laughs> I mean, waking up close to you all the time is priceless, you know. I, I know. <laughs> well, please, babes, we'll, we'll find a way around it. Mm? Meanwhile, your graduation party. I have organized it for the weekend, so... You're throwing a party for me? A very big party, Thank actually. you, baby. <laughs> so you can call your friends to come over. Thanks, my love. You know I don't have much friends, but I'll sure call a few of them that I have. Thank you. It's okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love you more. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Let me make a call. Thank you. It's a... It's a... It's funny. But real, Chimamanda. I want to seize this golden opportunity to ask for your unalloyed forgiveness. You see, I've judged you wrongly with no good reason. I mean, okay, he has made several attempts to, I mean, hook us up in a meeting. But I thought then it ain't worth my time. But just a few days with you. Ooh, ooh. You're good, you're pure, I mean you're an angel. You really proven me wrong beyond all reasonable doubt. I swear. Barista. Barista. I'm telling you. <laughs> Greg the barista. You judged her without even knowing her yeah, quite well. Yeah. Hmm? I was wrong. Barista Greg. You see. Okay, he has spoken highly about you. But I just see that it's nothing but mere exaggeration. I don't know. I don't know why I had such hatred for you, but I'm sorry. And I, sometimes I wish I'd met you before him. Well, thank God you didn't. <laughs> my, my heart is broken. My heart is broken. I swear. Mm. I hope I love you, my guy. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry for whatever impression I had about you. Listen, dear. I, I hold nothing against you. Like, no grudge at all. Trust me. You know, I have met all my baby's friends. All of them. But each time I talk about you, knowing full well that you are his best friend, he kept giving excuses. And I was wondering, why was this happening? But now you have told me this, I've understood everything, so it's fine. And uh, I want you to know that I have forgiven you, I heard nothing against you, no grudge at all. Alright? Let love lead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are an angel. You are.
I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas, Nebaho. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. Pam, pam, pam. Feliz Navidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas, Nebaho. Chucky Kelly. What? You never see you here. What's in you here? See ya. See this one. Now this make me say, talk say you be village girl. Eh? So you don't know say that this thing they wear for, for Congo DR. What do they use the dance? Pay way, pay way, pay way, pay way, pay way. Congo in Asia. Did they I beg, eh? Go inside, find something, make you wear. Maybe it's not see you forget begin run. You know what's example? Masquerade. Eh? Who, who, now you resemble. Who resemble masquerade? You see you, see what you wear. Eh? Here in Animal Kingdom. How you call it wear this one to be like a snake? Eh? No, go change them. I mean, come on here. I bet no verse. I'm not come make you insult me. No verse. You are fine. Where were you too fine? Eh? Yeah, I uh -huh. Come back and make you help me carry something. Which bag? For. Eh? Come help me carry something. Hi. Did they? Eh? They come now. Come down. They go. You won't carry me. You won't make a. Okay. My, my come back me. Hey, oh. Hi. Did they? Did they? Did they? Why go? Did they? Hi. Even did they? Kosoko no go understand. See this girl, see what's in her dress. I be I know, I know fine. Eh? I dress like this for, for this girl, can't they, can't they drag me for more? Come in. Hey! Pay way, pay way, pay way, pay way, pay way. Coco in a axia. Pay way, I see cow. What, what, what happened now? Uh, why did it take you long for you open the gate? Uh, um, uh, okay, no verse, eh? You know, say today, I um, got okay, uh, girlfriend, they do a uh, party. You know, so, uh, what did make me? I can't go inside, they wash play, they do some things, you know, they cook, all those things. Uh, what did happen? No verse, I beg, no verse, okay? It's, it's okay, it's okay. I can see you're already dressed for the party. Yes, <laughs> those are just, I just make, make some people not say me, as I'm dressed too, like Huna, you and Oga. I don't understand, so who, who are you referring as some people? Who? <laughs> who they? <laughs> no, 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 I just want dress as Gaiman, no, <laughs> nothing, nobody. As that's Gaiman, okay, yes. that's okay. Uh, nice one, nice one. <laughs> yes, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Welcome, sir. Hi, hi, hi. You know, see how people are going to know, see me as a dress. Yeah? No, no, be that mugu. See, sir, that's what they dress for for Congo. Yeah? Way, way, pay, way, pay, way, pay, way, pay, way. Congo in a axia. Pay, way, asika. We move. Hey, hey, wait, hey, 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 Yeah, now that you're here, think it's important if we observe the normal ritual. Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! That's it, that's it. Hip, hip, hip! 
I thought you weren't gonna come. Never. Come on, don't say that. I, I would never miss your party for anything in the world. That's what's up, bro. <laughs> My so, brother. Yeah. yeah well, who's the lucky girl? Boss. She? Maybe oh. finally you're meeting my brother. <laughs> you know, the other time she, you guys were meant to meet, but you know, the urgency and so you left, so. Uh, of course you came at the right time. Bro! <laughs> is, is this the person? Of course, yeah. She, she's just the one. I, I, I need to see you outside. What? Come, let's start this one. It's okay. The party can continue. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what are you about to do? What are you talking about? Bro, you are about to make the biggest mistake of your life. You're still not saying anything. Bro, you can't marry that girl. Why? She's a whore. Bro, she can't deny it because I know her very well. It's not possible. Look, my friends have slept with her not once, not twice, many times. I know she would have lied to you about her identity, but that girl is a whore. You can't marry her. Well, um, don't worry about that. I, I already know so, but... Um She's still the person I want to spend the rest of my life I don't, with. I don't understand, bro. I said you can't marry her because she's a prostitute. I know, you just, you just said the same thing. Prostitute, whore, that means the same thing. So I, I know. So I, I know about it. Please, come and let's continue with it. Are you serious right now? Is he serious right now? Who? What man in his right senses will want to marry a prostitute? I'm so uneasy. I'm just so uneasy. Baby. Wow. There's nothing to worry about. Like I said before, there's going to be turmoil. There's going to be, uh, you know, family, friends, and. Um, but the fact. What is it? There's no problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. It's your day. It's our day, actually. You don't need to. You don't need to be like that. Okay. for us to sustain this friendship with love and this relationship is what is going to take us far. Hmm? Of course there will be storm, but we will stand firm together, right? Now smile for me. <laughs> it's your day. It's our day. <laughs> you know, knowing you has been the best part of my life. You came into my life when there was no reason to be happy. You gave me happiness. You showed me true love. You changed my narratives about love. I love you with all my heart. I love you more, baby. Love you. <laughs> the love I have for you, our love flows like a stream. 
That's to the point. paradise. That's a point. <laughs> <laughs> you are all I want. You are the best woman I have ever come across with. I'm actually looking for the right words to express the love I have for you. Oh. You are the air I breathe. Oh. You are the rose I plug. Oh. Oh, la, la. <laughs> you are my joy. Oh. Okay, don't talk with. Chimamanda. You are beautiful in and out. <laughs> You're a blessing to me. And today, I want to ask just one question. Just one question. I, I will appreciate if you answer me sincerely. started like a joke has finally turned to be serious mm -hmm. my sister um, it has really turned to be serious and trust me i'm really really happy i thought it was a game thing oh but here we are honestly i can't even contain my excitement i'm so happy oh, i'm happy for you too i am very much happy for you thank you in fact i wish i'm in your shoes mm -hmm. no you cannot be in my shoes my love because the shoe might be smaller for you. But trust me, with the special grace of God, yours will come and you'll be marveled. Okay? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Right. So, um, why? What is it? Have I said anything wrong? <laughs> no, you didn't say anything wrong. So why are you withdrawn? Chimamanda, we've been best of friends ever since our path crossed at the university. And I, I can boldly say that you've been true to this friendship. Same here. We've been friends since the university and you have been amazing. You're always there for me each time I call on you. So I appreciate you as well. I'm sorry to say this, but I haven't been true to the friendship too. I haven't. Are you serious? How? What I'm about to say here might come as a shock to you. But I just hope you forgive me. <laughs> this is interesting. Come on, tell me about it. What is it? I... I somehow became jealous of you when you told me about Okechuku and the things he has been doing for you. Okay, the time you shot for my advice that I told you not to allow yourself fall in love with him. I actually did that out of jealousy. I didn't do it for sincerity. I was jealous of you. I didn't want you guys to be together. Uncle Zika. 
Ngozi. Huh. I, this is really unbelievable. I I thought I deserve better. I I I, I thought I, I should be the one commanding the way the handsome man like that, not you. So I tried everything I could to make him lose the interest he has in you. But eventually I snapped myself out of that thought. And I hated myself for betraying our beautiful friendship. I'm sorry. So, oh my goodness. This is like a dream, honestly. I can't believe this is coming from you. So this is the reason you stayed away from me all this while? You didn't want to come see me or anything? Is this the reason? I was ashamed of myself. Huh. I couldn't look you in the eye knowing too well I betrayed your trust. No, 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 don't do that. Please, I'm sorry. I'm ready to make amends. Please forgive me. I'm ready to make up anyhow you want it. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay. For you to have opened up shows that you really repented and you don't want to go back to it again. No. But I am giving you an advice as a good friend. Please, desist from jealousy. It kills more than anything in the world. I promise. It does. And please, please, you have to wipe your tears. Today is a joyful day and not a day for tears. I beg of you. Thank you. Once we go in there, just put a smile on this beautiful face of yours. I promise. I don't want my Okichibu to find out anything. I promise. Right? Thank I forgive you. you from my Thank heart. Thank you very much. It's all right. Let's go back. And don't, 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 don't do this. Don't, don't give this face when we go back inside. Come. Thank you. 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 She get to find me. Why are you obstructing my view? Eh? Go to Akwaraqua. What is your trouble? What is troubling you? What's your problem? Mom, you won't believe what just happened right now at Okichiku's house. You won't believe it. You won't believe the stunts your son Okichiku just pulled right now in the name of love. Chechuko, can you please calm down and tell me what the problem is. Okay, Chiku has lost it. My brother has finally lost it. My brother is totally mad right now. Can you cut it off? Just break it down. Tell me what happened. Okay, mom. So you know the girl Okay, Chiku has been talking about that he wants to get married to. This girl is a renowned hall in this city. A prostitute. And the worst part of it is that Okay, Chiku is aware of this and he continues he moved on to proposing to her. What? Okechuku's girlfriend is a prostitute. Hey! Mom, that's, that is not the worst of it. That is not even the end of it. As we speak right now, Okechuku is proposing to her. And I warned him. No, wait. Okechuku has already proposed to her without first bringing her to his own family so that we all can see the girl. Is that what I taught him? Mom, there's no time for all of this question. We need to do something right now to stop my brother from making the worst mistake of his you life. You have to worry yourself. Okay, Chuku, your brother, my son, will not marry a whore. Ashawo, my son will not marry one. What? If you have to do anything, we have to do it fast. So, because there's no time. I can't bear the shame that my brother is, is going to stoop so low to marry a prostitute. Hey, man. Anaga nyaga. What will people say? I, good. No, no, let me call him. Good. Just, just calm down. Let, let me call him. I won't be a party to that. I won't support it at all. The number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. The phone is switched off. I told you. You see? You see what I've been saying, Mom? Like, 
Okechiko knows I am coming to meet you. That is why he switched off his phone. He doesn't want to be stopped, Mom. Don't worry. I, I, I don't understand if this girl has charmed him or something. I can't even explain this. Mom, stop wasting your time. He's not going to pick your call. Okechiko has gone mad. I don't know. I don't know. you from from the previous um, uh, encounter so of course you already know he tried to talk me out and from um, proceeding with the engagement and um, I said no he's someone I know too well I know he's going to tell my mother but I I don't want you to be worried about this really I promise that I'm going to protect you and I'm not backing down anytime soon. Or even forever. Okay? I don't want you to be rattled by what I said. I got you. We are in this forever. Baby. It's not about you. This is a reality I must face eventually. I've always known that I'm gonna face challenges associated with our union because of the inequality in status and class and also because of the the ill things I did in the past but having to face my fiance's mother is is one of the things I never envisaged maybe I'm so scared of what is definitely going to come out of my this love, my love listen I don't want you to be scared I got you. When I say I got you, I mean I got you for real. They are my family and I know how to follow them. I'm not trying to say it's going to be easy, but think about me. So you don't have to worry. We're in this together. I promised you that I am not backing out anytime soon. Okay? Baby, come on. Look. Troubles may come, but the ability for us to stand together is what counts. Okay? Thank you so much, my love. Thank you so much for always standing by me. Thank you so much for your encouragement. To tell you the truth, you always amaze me. Look at how you're talking to me now. Your kind words have made me stronger. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, don't worry. It's fine. Mom, I don't understand what you're trying to say. What exactly don't you understand? No, I mean, what exactly you don't understand in this matter? How could you engage a girl without your parents' approval? And then, are you the only one getting married to her? My mom, you mean if I have to get married to a girl, I will have to bring her here for interview? Is that, is that, is that what you're trying to say? You can call it whatever you like. I do not care. How can you go into the street and bring a girl and impose her on your family and you expect us to welcome her with our open arms? No, it will not happen. Our family standard must be respected and protected. Standards, you say? Yes, to the core. 
<laughs> well, I, I reserve my comments, really. However, what I expect from my mom is your blessings and your advice and not some dictation. Yes. Even if she's a prostitute? Imagine. The question is, how did you know she's a prostitute if you don't patronize her or her likes? What's the difference between you and her? Do not elude yourself, Okechuku. Do not. There's no room for comparison here. I am a man. Simple. I have a license to sleep around like a dog. Right? A man. No, a woman has no right to prostitute, but a man has every right to patronize a prostitute. Does that even make sense? Are you not the same? Are you not the same because you patronize prostitutes? No, wait. Are you in any way trying to justify prostitution? Well, Mom, I'm not trying to justify prostitution here, but I'm just trying to say the real fact. No, let's call a spade a spade now. You patronize prostitutes, but you are against them. Why you go to patronize them? It takes two to tango, remember? Shut up. Will you shut that, your stupid mouth? What has come over you? Of all the girls in this city, flaming with fire, what you sought to marry is a cheap prostitute. Is that how I raised you? Is that how debased you have become? Mom, I'm just trying to say we shouldn't be one-sided here. Okay? Besides, prostitutes or criminals or whoever you choose to call them are people's children. They give birth to them same way you gave birth to the both of us. All they need is love and attention, mother. Care. Who knows they might change from that act? That's what I'm trying to say here. I'm not trying to justify anything here, but I mean, let's call it speed is speed, man. I didn't know you are now a therapist. Same way you say you don't smoke, but you smoke shisha. But you are against people that smoke weed or smoke cigarettes. But you smoke. Smoke is smoke. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. Eh? I never even knew you were a therapist now. Please, how can I book an appointment in your hospital? I would want you to cancel me. Mom, I don't need to be a therapist to understand how things go. That's what I'm trying to say here. No jokes. Listen. Listen and listen, God. And whatever you think you have with that girl, fought with. You are from a reputable family. I will not allow you to drag our honorable name to the mud. Nonsense. Imam And you think she's not from a reputable family too? Because she's on the streets. Well, mom, I, I, I've made up my mind really. We don't, we don't have to do it on this for real. Let's see how it goes. Because I will see where you're going to bring that girl into. Like not this house. Mom, your blessings, that's all. Get your away. Blessings. Get away with that blessings. Who will give it to you? Okay. Nonsense. Rubbish. You Rubbish. No! No report me so they flog me. Why not go to the Reverend Father and report you report me there? I'm so disappointed are you, big dude. Disappointed. I'm so disappointed are you. I can't believe you're the one doing this. Perfect you man, you perfect. Blood. Blood. Ah, you ready, baby. Baby me. Who said that? What is that? Eh? I didn't talk with you. Stop this nonsense, please. Don't be nonsense. This one will be play. See, what do you do like this now? Eh? This one won't touch you. They, they do like this now. Just one kolobi you. Eh? Just one jide your kosoko. And jide kosoko. You go jide your mama kosoko. Eh? You see your sister? You go jide her kosoko. I see no girl sense. Stop her. I'm not joke with you. Why do like this? Eh? That one won't touch you now. You go, you, you, go, you go begin to do anyhow. Eh? Ah, ah, they go now. They go. No wala. Well, uh, and I can't say my game can't but As if you say you don't want Jolly. No I They love you. Abby. Gide, my darling. <laughs> Gide, my honey, my sweetheart. <laughs> you see, you don't touch me now. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Calm down. You want to touch me now because of my money? Eh? You know, sir, I like you. You like me? You know, no. Eh? For you, for you, you know, sir, I like you very well. But if I want to touch you, for one day, you're Kosoko. You go, you go, you go do like say you be you're Kosoko. See, you hmm? she know, sir, people, man. Sometimes I go do this small, small shakara and make you be like, sick. <laughs> Abi. <laughs> I can I do? Eh? They say, calm down, calm down. What will do all this? Eh? So, Miku, you know, see, see, organo day round, hmm? and madam. So, I will get this compound now from morning till night. Eh? So, I want Miku just, you know, we do things now. Bella. <laughs> you? See, okay, madam. They know we come back to meet night. Mm -hmm. So, me and you, we go do everything for everything. You cry me. Hey, I enter me, I enter you. You talk to the Liga Climbers. <laughs> Hey, oh my God, they do this. Wait, you not do. Who will go first? I'm going to enter. No, the same thing. You go. Ah, be. She did my honey. Yeah, now for just this. My city. My honey. What do you mean? So if I leave you, you go climb me. Now as you be now, you won't climb me. I'll be like you don't get sense. Who did they talk to? Shit. Go, go, wait, wait. Who did they talk to? Yeah. Are they sleep? Hey, make, uh, make her help you. Make her help you. Let me drink with this. Give me my money. I go put my hand down. No, put hand. I go put hand down. Put hand. I go put hand down. Put hand. I go put hand down. Put hand down. Give me my money. Give me my money. Put it. Put it. Babe. Hmm? My love. You still haven't told me how we went between you and your family. Um. Well, it was. Nothing short of expectations. Um, my my mom made her threat, but um, it's nothing to worry about, really. So what about your dad? What what did he say? My dad wasn't around. He had a, a, an urgent meeting, so it was just my mom and. Um. How 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 serious was your mother's threat? It was serious. It was serious, but um, <clears throat> baby, I, I I don't want you to think about that. Really, it's just um, it's just normal that she would try. Keyword, um, she would try, but um, it's just a mere threat, really. Baby, don't call it a mere threat. It is from your mother, and you know how. Bonded mothers and their first sons are. Hey, that will stand me not in a good stead. Um, well, I, I understand your point, uh, but you see, nothing will happen to our love unless we want it to happen. I, I love my mother, no doubt, but she can't dictate whom I'm going to marry. Okay, she's going to try, definitely, but we have to stand together. We Talking about your mom, she's calling. Yeah, I know, I know. Baby, pick the call. I Babe, don't... take the call. She is still your mother regardless. You have no idea why she's calling. It could be something else. No, baby, I know why she's calling. Uh, she wants to start all over, and I really don't want that now. Hey, baby, this is my mother, okay? Hmm? I know how to follow her. Don't worry. I got this. Why do you have such a small lead? <laughs> Just like yours, right? No, yours is smaller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like it. Tell me you want to go out. I didn't know until now. Yeah. So, where are you going to? Okay, to go house, of course. I have told you to take things easy. Okay? I've already spoken to him. And I've asked him to come and see me here tomorrow. I will not take things easy. I want to go to Kuchiku's house. Look into his eyes, eyeball to eyeball. And ask him why he has not been taking my calls since yesterday. Are we mates? But 
Don't you think he knew why you were calling? And that was why he refused to pick in your course. Please, let me handle this. Okay? More reason I should go see him. More reason I should go look into his eyes. He is my son. And he must do exactly everything I say. Do as I say. That is the word. In fact, excuse me. I'll see you when I come back. Thank you. Let me run along. Let me go. There is no time. Who is there? Hold up. Huh? Uh, mommy. Hold on. And see your mom. Oh. Mom. Yes? Welcome. This is coming. You've been avoiding my call. This prostitute is the reason you have refused to pick your mother's call. I don't blame you. Mom, please, 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 don't, don't call my woman names, please. I shouldn't call your woman names. Yes. Is it not obvious? Is she not a prostitute? How is that an offense? Did I make any mistake by calling her her name? You are a prostitute! Mom. Cheap one! Mom, please, can you, can you kindly sit down? You just I didn't come to... here to sit down. I came to ask you why you have refused to pick your mother's call. Because I know what you want to tell me. Really? Of course. And I've told you that. I've made my decisions known to you. And your decisions are final? Yes. Really? It's final. Yeah, okay, Chuku. How do you think you can get married to a woman that has been milked, sacked by different kinds of men. Black, white, pink, old, young. What, what, what does she have that she will offer to you? Wait, how did you arrive at this point? You're settling for a woman who has no shame, who has no respect for her body, who has no culture. Who has no integrity, knowing the family you came from, your background and everything? No one is perfect. Alright? No one is perfect. Now, let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. No disrespect. Did dad marry you a virgin? How dare you talk to me in that language and manner? Have you lost your mind? Oh! has poisoned your mind diabolically. That is why you can talk to me with such vulgarity. Are you mad? What is wrong with you? You are biting more than you can chew. I'll remove your teeth so that you don't bite again. That girl has done nothing wrong to me. The only charm she's using on me is her love and her kind spirit. And I'm not ready to be freed from it. Chimamanda will be my wife with or without anyone's consent. Okay, Chuku. You lie. See this one? You lied. You are my son. That settles it. Your son that is old enough to make his decisions. I am old enough to make my choice. Chimamanda is my choice. And the earlier you accept it, the better for all of us. If you like, you can hit me one million times, mother. My decision is final. No. I will call Ure to attend to you. Okay, Chuku. Okay, Chuku. Ah! Oh, she has even taught you on how to work out for your own mother. Hey, hey! That girl has done her worst. She has not seen the last of me. Because that last of me will be fire. I think I should be on my own.
I know what my mom said could be hurtful. But you don't allow that break you down. But she was right. I was a prostitute with no shame and integrity. Not everything is coming back to me. So whatever I get, I truly deserve. No, my love, no. You don't speak low of yourself like that. You're a queen. It's not entirely your fault. The society made it so. But I made myself so vulnerable for the society to step on. I know I faced a lot of trials and tribulations, but that wasn't an excuse. I should have known better. I should have done better. I'm so pained. I regret a lot of things. I regret a lot. Hey, oh baby, don't poison your future with the pain. That is not who you are, my love. But the secret of the future lies in the past. You know that, don't you? <sighs> Yesterday, it's not ours to recover. But today, it's ours to build. The past is far gone and gone forever. Now you have the chance to rewrite your story and show the world who you really are. You don't have to dwell in the past. Okay. What counts is the ability to hold on the ability to carry yourself, the ability to move on. You don't have to think down, you don't have to think negative of yourself. <laughs> I'm ready. And I'm ready to walk this path with you. But you have to be ready. You have to promise me that you're ready mentally, spiritually, and, and physically. It's not that easy, you know. It is easy. It's, it's easy to change that mindset. You don't have to think low of yourself. You don't, you don't have to think about the society. <laughs> you have to believe in yourself and that is what matters. <laughs> Remember we promised each other that we are going to stand firm together. It's going to be a rough path but for gold to shine, it has to pass through fire. You have to constantly remind yourself that you're a queen and don't let anything bring you down. I love you. Our people have a program that an elder cannot be at home and watch the goat deliver in deserts. I am your father, not just an elder. So it is my responsibility to advise you if you are veering off the right path. That it's my pleasure to, what should I say, listen to your words and um, piece of advice. But before you proceed, can I ask you a question? By all means, go ahead, sir. Okay, thank you, Father. Looking at me, will you say you gave me the best training? Like, would you say that you prepared me for adulthood? Will you beat your chest to say, I prepared this, my son, for adulthood, and I'm proud of him and his achievements? Hmm. Well, on the face value, I would say yes. But with recent events, I 
think I'll be wrong if I say that. Recent events have shown that I probably have not given you the best of training. Well, Father, it's depending on the way you're seeing it. Chimamanda is a lovely soul. I'm not daft. I'm not a fool. I know what I want. When I see one, I know what I want. That girl has the heart of gold. She's pure. She's an angel. But why settle for a prostitute? Are there no other women of good virtue out there that you can choose from? Yeah, that girl is more than what you see in it. She deserves a second chance. You don't capitalize it because of what she did in the past. She is no longer a prostitute. And besides, society threw her into that. You don't just um, justify it like that. Everyone deserves a second chance. You always say that. How come you're changing now? Son, your association with this girl is not in the best interest of our noble family. You cannot drag the name of our family to the mud because of your infatuation with that girl. Besides, the vehemence with which you assert your argument baffles me. Is there anything else you want me to know? Yes, because um, mom believes that I'm um, under a spell. <laughs> How can I be under a spell? Because I'm in love with you, Amanda. Okay. Dad, tell me sincerely, do you think I'm under a spell? My answer is a categorical no. I don't suspect any diabolical manipulations on you. However, I suspect she's playing a mind game on you. She's a very smart girl, you know. I know she's a smart girl, of course. It's part of the qualities I, I love about her. Smart, good heart. And, um, but that's by the way. No one is playing mind game here. It's love, Dad. It's love. I believe you still understand the language of love. It's still the same here. I'm in love with Chima Amanda. And all I need is support. You are the only person that understands. So all I need is support. Mom saying I'm a Monday spell doesn't make sense for me, really. Who's that? My family has raised arms against my junior with Juma Amanda. And my mom is leading the charge. My mom, I know, uh, will never back down anytime soon. Here, I expected that from them like I, I also did initially. But I believe uh, with time, they will get to understand her very well, like I also did. So, what's the plan? I mean, how do you intend to achieve that? No plans for now, my brother. Do I even need a plan? I mean, this is my choice, and I expect everyone to respect that. Uh, if you ask me, you don't have to stand uh, that way. Of course, you know there is a reason behind the agitation. And I think the onus lies with you to, I mean, put things right in the right, uh, right perspective. Your mom called me last night. What was the conversation all about? She was accusing me that I am the one behind everything you do and man, the conversation was not easy at all, at all. That's one thing I don't like about my mother. She still sees me like a baby. 
she's overprotective and, and always tend to interfere in my decisions. That's, that's wrong now. Am I still a child? She's not alone in that. Mothers are very used to that. But you see, it's born out of love. It's born out of love. But uh, I think uh, <coughs> you try your best and make them understand, possibly see things from your own perspective. The question now is, can my family ever accept Chimamanda? Will they ever see her as an ideal woman for me? I know I won't leave her because of them, but you know, I still want my family to support what I'm doing and, and you know, it's, 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 yeah. it's giving me a headache. Like, I think about it all the time. Fight here and the mother fighting, brothers. My father is a bit understanding, but it doesn't still mean that he's, he's not disturbing me to, 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 you know, make another choice. It's, it's terrible. You see, they will understand when they get to see the woman that she is. Of course, our past will keep calling to ring the bell, but with time, everything will fade away. You understand? So, be brave, be smart, and, uh, you know, make your family see the reasons why you love this girl and why they need to give you their total support. Hmm. That I've done over and over again. I just think it's, it's God's intervention, really. But calm, but calm. Things will fall into place. Hmm? Just don't get worked up about it. It's fine. So, um, what's up with the fire? Are you done? Yeah. Um, you just need to go through and walk on the east in it. Did a good job here. Um, sorry, ma'am. I'm still wondering how you were able to find my place. Oh, uh, how I found your place? Your place is not hidden, of course. You're a professional prostitute, and your name is on the lips of every young man, all of them in the city. I must applaud you. You did your marketing very well. Bravo. You're a good marketing officer. I'm um, sorry, ma'am. Um, if, we, if you would sit down, I can offer you something. Oh, shut up. Just shut that, you stupid mouth. You think I came here for a friendly visit or something? Oh, you want to poison me the way you poisoned my son? If you look at me very well, you will know that I'm too big for such a thing to work on me. What exactly do you want from my son? With all sincerity, ma'am, I'm in love with your son. Love. A prostitute in love. Prostitution and love. <laughs> Do they work together? A prostitute in love. Why are you pretending? Why don't you confess to the whole world that you are in love with my son's money? Why hide it under the guise of love? Name your prize, young lady. Prize? Don't plead down with me because I will slap your face. I'm sorry, Ma, but the love I have for your son is not for sale. <laughs> a prostitute does not love money, which is more expensive. Your love or your body? Because your body, you know what I mean. Ma, I don't understand what you mean by that. But if it's what I'm thinking, no Naira equivalent can be compared to the love I have for your son. Take this. This is a check of five million Naira. He 
take it and leave my son alone. Take it. It will go a long way to help you out of prostitution. Better still, you do something better for your life. So keep it. I'm sorry, Mama, but I can't take it. Like I said before, I love your son. It's not about the money. I'm not interested. <laughs> Your love has no Naira equivalent. Maybe one dollar, but I still pound. Listen, young lady. Listen and listen, Claire. Free my son from whatever spell you cast on him. I'm giving you one week. Today I came in peace. Next time I come here, it will be bomb. It will be fire for fire. I will show you the stuff the bees are made of. I've warned you, I won't warn you again. No. Don't do this to your mother. Don't do this. I don't have to cry for this woman. I don't have to cry for this. This is a cross. I must be here with so much courage. My past is long gone and has been buried. And today, a new Chimamanda, Obianuju Okoli, has been born. I don't think I can make it. I'm very busy. Okay, okay. L let me check. Let me check if I can. Where my money? Where my money? Which money? Hmm. You uh, give me money, keep. Eh? Leave me. Oh. I didn't joke with you. Leave me. See, you owe my salary. Keep I'm saying, say, say, say what happened. You know how many people go chop for that salary? I beg you my money, I beg you. What do you consign me? I beg you money. Eh? Nobody you carry your left leg and your naked eye come give me. I beg you. I force you. Hey, you want chop him? You, you want chop? Eh? I make, make I see you. Make you chop him now. Eh? You want chop him? Make I see you. Tell me. I go tell her guy. You go tell who? I go tell her guy. Yeah, this is the fear guy. I don't the fear guy like this. Eh? Call her guy. I'm going to help you. Oh, girl, come. Mm -hmm. Give me my money. Give me. 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 What's going on here? Oh, okay, no, 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 I need to look for my trouble. Oh, can I lie? Oh, no, 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 she go, 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 take my money. See, I see, B. Uri. Sir. Why would you collect his money? Sir, I'm not collecting money. Oh, uh, there he is. He didn't call me. We didn't do left leg. Tell me, say, like me. Be because I'm not green, he make I give him the money back. Uh, you're not going to say you like me too. Eh? You don't like me too. Will, 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 you, will you shut up? Is that true? Oh, I, 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 don't, I don't give him any money. I don't give him any money. And I should go, 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 go collect my money. Hey. Uh, he says I dash you money. I, I did dash you money because, because I be, I be flashed with the dash. Where they dash people money anyhow? Lie no, Sumba. You sabi lie. I'm oh, gonna lie, yo. He doesn't like me. I no, I no agree. I collect money for your hand now. And I used to make a give and back because I no agree. Come in room. Come room. Co come whose room? Over comma. Yeah. My friend, my friend, come on. Sh 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 shut up your smelling gut. Go, go and open the gate. Oh, 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 my salary. Eh, 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 my salary be that, oh. Eh, you know how many people, we go stop for that salary? No, like 62 people. Come here, come here, come here. Did you collect his salary? Yes. But when I ain't carry and give me, I know for some. No, 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 no,
Never you collect money from a man. Knowing full well you won't do what he's asking for. That is wrong. That's extortion. Go and bring the money. Now? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, we'll, we'll write a letter to federal government. They will now process it from high court and supreme court before they will give... But Franco, come and go and bring the money. Okay, thank you. Shut, shut up. Don't, don't, don't say nonsense. You don't have money. You don't know you work hard first and make the money before giving a woman money. After working hard for the whole month, instead of you to send money to, 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 to your mother in the village, you, you'll be giving a woman money. And listen, let me tell you, you see that money, we are going to divide it. For me to step in in this case, we'll divide the money. You, you don't have money, you're, instead of you to work hard for yourself. Mm, thank you, sir. Thank you, it's better we divide it than this, this, this mugu. I did that's your money. My friend, go open the gates. Mad girl. No, I I'm waiting for you, Uri. Baby. Mm? What agreement did you have with my mother? No. I didn't have any agreement with her. Okay, because I really don't know why she... She called to tell me that um, you guys had an agreement of giving you five million and also a Canadian visa, which you gladly accepted. Hmm. Mary. All right, babes, I will tell you exactly what happened. Your mother came to my house, wanting me to stay away from you. That she's going to offer me five million naira to stay clear off her son. Really? But I vehemently refused, baby. Except for all the threats, there is nothing more. Baby, you and I know that I can't even do a thing like that. I couldn't have agreed to her terms. No. Well, the, the way she said it sounded quite convincing. Because you, you, you didn't tell me. Baby, okay. I did not tell you because you have a lot you're facing already. I don't want to add more salt to injury. So I wanted to keep it to myself and then maybe discuss it with you much later. I'm sorry about that. Okay? Okay, okay, my love, but no secrets. Of course, baby. No secrets. I cross my heart and hope to die. Okay? Okay. You know I love you. Sorry. Yeah, right. You, you were telling me something. You mean that Jide gave his salary to Ure because he wanted to woo her? <laughs> Don't mind that, my girl. He gave out his salary. You needed to have seen his face when I told him to go open the gate. He has to do his job. What fault is it? <laughs> he shouldn't be callous. What nonsense. Babes. Well, you know, I, I gave the both of them. Oh, babes, I want you to do something for me. No, no sugar. No, 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 babes, babes. I want to do something. No sugar for you. I want some massage. No sugar. Oh, massage. <laughs> no sugar. I saw a massage. Stop. Oh, no, babes. Come do your work. <laughs> when did it start? Honestly, like, I'm surprised. What happened? When? When you tell them. Calm down. Calm down. You see, it started uh, the day you proposed to Chim Amanda. We talked at length, and uh, the conversation was beautiful. But like they always say, the rest is history. <laughs> and you couldn't even tell me. No, that is even it. Even you, Angie, you literally hid it from me. They are so secretive. How, how can my own guy, homeboy? You know. At first, we had in doubts if this is actually love or just games, because everything happened so fast. Yeah. Hey, come on, take a chill pill, man. <laughs> you see, we decided to incubate, so that we'll be sure what it is. It is what it is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm thankful everything turned out to be love. 
true love. <laughs> you say we decided to come here because this is where it all started. I couldn't have uh, thought of anywhere else if not here. Baby, your coming into my life made me understand why Joe King said, and I quote, Love is just a word until someone gives it a meaning. You see, words fail me to express in detail how I feel for you. My word. He. He. Baby, with this ring, I give you my heart and I promise you will never ever walk alone. I will shield you with my arms and shelter you with my heart. Miss Ngozi Ubaka, will you be my wife? I've never felt so deeply in love with anyone in my life. Yes, I'll marry you. I needed to compliment it. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You know, this calls for a celebration. Yo, yeah. mama. And you know what? Mm -mm. I'm going to freaking handle it. Yeah. Mad celebration. So maybe I'm going to set the table. That's real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. You made it happen. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> And I'll do it over and over again if she tries to do what she did when she came. Or anyone. Are you choosing a prostitute over your family? You dare not stand before me and call my woman names. I will not take that. Aren't you sending funny now, bro? A woman that is known in the whole city for what she does? Bro, you can't be serious. Don't you care about what people are going to say? Those people. Do I look like I care? I do not care. This is my happiness we are talking about. You don't tell me, you don't tell me how to run my life because of people. Bro, bro, bro. Don't you care about our family name? Family name is on the lips of every rat and cat in this town. How do you expect my friends to feel when they learn that my brother is getting married to a prostitute they have slept with over and over and over again? What did you care about my pride and dignity? How I will feel as their friend? To hell with your friends. To hell with your friends. All you care is about yourself. You don't even care about me. How about my own happiness? No, Uchechuku, how about my own happiness? You're telling me it's your friends. Do I look like I care? How would I think of a woman who has thrown her own dignity and pride to the dogs? Just to test every shape and size of what is in between the legs of every man in this city. Listen, Tell me. Listen, now listen, bro. It's high time you left my office now. Really? Really, bro? You sending me out of your leave office? My office? Fine. I would leave your office. There is no need for this. But let me tell you this, bro. Read my lips. Whatever you're planning with that girl will never Casey. walk. 
Let me call my security. Do you understand? It will never work, bro. I will let you marry a prostitute. Kingsley. What? Did you see Kingsley there? No. This boy is biting more than he can chew. Look at look, look at my office chair. Did you see what he did to it? Don't talk to me, what happened? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Don't talk to me, what happened? What happened? Let me look in there and tell me it's fine. Babe? My love? You still haven't told me where you're taking me. I mean, which of your friends, please? Oh, it was uh, my, my um, classmate back then, uh, Chidia Bear. He just got back from Germany. Yeah. Oh, but you, you never mentioned him to me. Uh, because we've not had conversation that, that would lead to that. Uh, it's okay then. Don't worry, you meet him today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is a person I've been watching you closely since we left the house. Your mood is not cool with me. Is everything okay? I mean, is something bothering you? You know, I told you we are coming to see a friend. Yes. The truth is that we are not coming here to see any friend. This is my parents' house. What? Oh, baby, come on. You should have told me. Huh? I know if I if I tell you, you will tell me to wait, or you know, for the best time to come here. I just want us to do it. Whatever comes out of it is fine. Let's just take the bull by the horn. I don't want to wait. Whatever we are going to face now, let us face it squarely. Baby, are you sure about this? Don't worry. You're with me. Okay? Just be strong. Stand by me. Let's go. What? What? You brought this prostitute to the house, bro? Really? Bro? Mom! Mom! Mother! I can't believe this, bro. I can't believe you would do this to us. Bro, seriously? She like at me. Wait, see? You! You brought this prostitute to the house? I know you came to test your lucky charm on the whole family. You failed. <laughs> you failed. I shall walk over, go, go, you failed. Take it easy. Take what is it? Take what is it? You. You want to marry this whore? Are you? You hypnotize my son so that he'll take your wasted body in. That will not work. Prostitutes, that is what you are. Can't you say something as a man you are in the house? Say something! Is it I shall walk. Stop! Why are you covering her? Why are you covering her face? Idiot! Look at her! Whore! <laughs> The girl I want to marry. She's an orphan and a graduate of 
applied chemistry. Though she prostituted in the past to see her way through school, well, like I said, that's in the past now. I brought her here because... You want what? You brought her here to do what? Of all the women in this city, it is this cheap horror, Ashabo Kobo Kobo, that you brought to this house to marry. It will not happen. Oh, Thank you very much. Just what is that? Thank you very much, ma'am. I, I, I am very surprised at you, bro. To think that you, my elder brother, will be the one acting like someone who has lost all his morals and values. Imagine. <laughs> Mom, I want to ask you a question. And I will appreciate if, you, if you're honest with your answer. Go ahead. Would you do the same if she's your daughter? God forbid. God forbid. No daughter of mine will do such unless I am not a mother. What is that? Procession all? Is it, is, it, is it an honest job someone should do and be proud of? If your daughter should do it. That means if I should do it myself. Don't ever open your mouth to say that again in this house. Interesting. And you think you raised sense, yeah? Of course, yes. No, you think you raised sense because there was lots of money to take care of them and give them the best education. Because they never had to fed for themselves from a very tender age. Because they have everything they needed in life. Right? You think you raised sense, mom? Have you ever thought about the orphans? Have you ever thought about how they survive? Have you ever thought about those people that had nothing, no one to take care of them? Oh, because you gave us the best life and now we are sense. And the children that had nothing are riffraffs and prostitutes, right? Well, I'm coming to you later. Now, Uche. Take a very good look at her. Do you recognize her? Of course you won't. It's been years gone, right? Oh yeah. She is the same girl we raped years ago. The little girl we raped years ago while on holidays in grandma's place. Yes, she is the one. And you sit there to tell me about morals? What do you know about morals? No, I'm asking you, what do you know about morals? Do you know what we did to her, led her into prostitution? And you sit back there to tell me about morals, right? You're telling me about morals, calling her prostitute, without knowing what we did to her. Now, mom, you sit there to tell me the best wife to choose? Yes, the monk of your children put her in that condition. Oh. Chima, Chima Manda. Was that? I mean, is it is it true? So when when did you find out about this? That day you you, you told me the story concerning how you you got raped. I, I knew about that, but I I just I just didn't want to. My love.
Uchechuku. Do you and your brother understand the gravity of the offense that you've committed? Imagine raping a minor. A minor. Now tell me, what moral right do you have to judge any person when you've committed the worst crime on planet Earth? Tell me. God. I can't believe that I have rapists as sons. Did you be a rapist? number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. Okay, Amanda. Do you have to stop crying? You've been crying ever since I got here, and it's not healthy for you. Please, my friend. Oh, on earth do you expect me to stop crying? You tell me. How can I stop crying when the one that claims to love me is the one responsible for all my problems? Tell me why I should stop crying. I know this can be very hard. 
I was so shocked when you told me about everything that happened. So shocked that I'm here to come to terms with everything. Mm. But that's notwithstanding. You have to get hold of yourself. It's not that easy. I know this can be hurting. But you need to stop crying. Just look at your eyes. They are swollen. Please, you need to stop crying. Hmm? I cannot take this. I can't take this. Just when I thought that I'm getting behind my predicament. Just when I thought I was at the verge of getting my ugly past behind. Just when I thought I had gotten healed completely. But alas, everything turned back like my worst nightmare. Like it's so terrible and it's eating so deep into me. I just want to believe that I am dreaming. Just if you can actually wake me up, it will be better for me. Because I just believe, I just want to believe that I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming, Angie. I'm yeah. dreaming. It's okay. It's okay, Amanda. You have to stop crying. It's okay. Mm -mm. Things will fall in place. I know and I believe. Please, my friend. Please. Please. Oh, my goodness. Amanda, I... I am sorry. I am so sorry. What we did is considered evil in the sight of God and man. I know. I have no justification, no excuse for the hideous crime I committed against you. I know you have every right to do what you want to do to make up for the pains. But I'm truly sorry. <laughs> I am deeply sorry for what we did. I am ashamed of myself. I wish I can turn back the hands of time. But unfortunately, you can't. You just can't, okay, Chuku. I guess you guys had fun that day. You and your brother. You had so much fun. And of course, you discussed it with so much glow of satisfaction on your faces. Why I, I wallowed in pain, anguish, and agony. I sought it for mercy. I pleaded, but no. The urge to take advantage of a vulnerable, innocent girl wouldn't let you. You saw how helpless I was. I literally begged you guys with blood gushing all over me. You couldn't see that. You still forced your way through. And here you are telling me about forgiveness. You are so mean. You are terrible. We had no idea what we were doing. I battled it for years. <sighs> I fought it. My conscience kept on pricking me for what I did. It took me time to... to get over it. Yes, it took you time. It took you time to get over it. But mine has been stalked with me all my life, Ogachuku. What you and your brother did to me has lived with me all my life. It's good a thing you have forgotten about it. It's good a thing it has left your body. The burden is off, but mine is not off. Please, 
for me to forget about mine. I want you to stay away from me, Okocho. Leave my house and never return. Go! No, I can't leave you. You are my life. I love you. No, you don't love me. Okay, Chuku, you don't love me and you never loved me. You saw me and recognized that I was the girl you and your brother dealt with. And you became so nice to me. You were showing me so much love like you care. You do not care. Everything was all about sympathy. You were sympathy up, sympathy down. No. Because of what you and your brother did to me, in it. No, no. No, what? Why are you lying? You are so evil. Evil personified. My dumps. Yet you, you preach to me about love. Do you know what love is? Do you know exactly what love is? Dumps, Get out of my house. Please. Get out. Please. Oh, get you, you are evil. Leave my house. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. You will not like me. Get out. Get you believe my house? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Seriously against my brother marrying a prostitute. Little did I know that this prostitute was initiated into the profession by the rape she suffered as a teenager. It even hurts me more that I am the actual rapist. I am so ashamed of the pains I have caused you. Sorry. Now you know. So? What next? I and my brother regret everything that happened on that day. I was the person who lured my brother into all the pains will cost you. I take full responsibility of it. Really? Yes, I, and I know it might be difficult for you to forgive me. But my honest prayer and request is that you find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am here right now to seek retributions for all of my action. I am ready to do anything you want me to do. Please. Anything you say? Yes. Anything? Okay. I'll tell you. I want you to take yourself out of my house and never return. When I mean out, I mean out. Get out. Leave my house in peace. In one piece, actually. Get out. Get out! Don't make me lose it. been a terrible journey. I love that girl and it hurts seeing her like that, knowing full well that I, I caused her the pains. I don't eat, I don't, I don't sleep, I don't do nothing. All I do is wake up and think about her. It's, 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 it's terrible. It's terrible. I yeah. know, I know. But I still insist you give her a little more time. Like I said before, she's hurting. Give her time I'm, I'm, to... I'm sure she would come around. I'm sure. I know. Just give her time. But like when? I'm losing my mind. Please help me talk to her. I don't care how you're going to do it, but please. Please. Sure, I will. 
See, I love what you both shared. And I'm going to do everything within my power to make sure it continues. But for now, do not overthink things. You need to continue pushing, but not overthink things. Alright? You should come around. I know. Just take it easy on yourself. Okay? <sighs> Okay, that's what you said. So take me home now. Alright. You're going with him? Oh, you will. You will, um. Talk to her, right? Yeah, sure. I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. How is she? She's okay. She's fine. Don't worry, relax. Relax. Mm, I can't relax. So. <laughs> I've not relaxed. You don't, you don't understand. I do. <laughs> I know how it feels. I do. I'm sure I do. But she would come around. So. Okay. Your phone? Yeah. How is my guy now? <laughs> <laughs> Greg is fine. He's doing great. He's obviously taking care of me, as you can see. Yeah, of course I can. <laughs> no, he's a great guy. Yeah. He's a great guy. Yeah. So you're taking this way? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Your belt. Oh. I don't my manner. It's alright. Sometimes I forget to. <laughs> <sighs> so Guess whom I saw today? Who did you see? You know, I don't like this guessing game that people engage in these days. Honey, does that mean you're not in this day? I am 1956 <laughs> model. <laughs> I, I, we are here. I don't understand you both. <laughs> I, I stopped by at the, the renovation project we awarded the uh, to the orphanage home to see how it's going. Okay. And uh, and what, mom? Mom, there's already so much going on right now. Just save us the suspense. Would you please allow me to savor the moment? Okay. All right, honey. Yes. Remember the girl that paid for the vocational training at the orphanage. The girl that has been so supportive of the foundation. Which you said you would like to meet someday. Of course I do. What about her? I saw her today. Ah. Do you know everything Madame Joy has been saying? Chima Amanda is a lady behind everything. You don't say? Of course. You mean she was the one spending so much for the foundation. How did she manage to do this? Even with minimum force? Chief, you can say that again and again. Do you know that when I went to the foundation today, I saw her. I am as shocked as you are. It is hard to believe that Chima Amanda the prostitute is the one Madame Joy has been talking about. Well, I, I know it's surprising to you all. Well, it was surprising to me at first. Chimamanda is, is a girl with a heart of gold. She is selfless to humanity. This is not even the first motherless baby's home she has been to. She has taken me to like three or four across the city. Not to talk of the hospitals where we have gone to pay, pay hospital bills for, for, for the sick people. So when, when you saw her, did you try talking to her? I had wanted to talk to her. I stood there in shock, gazing at her with my mouth wide open. But when I wanted to talk to her, after everything, they said she had left. Yeah. This is unbelievable. That part pained me. Well, what is important right now is to get Chimamanda to forgive us. 
it's for us to get ourselves out of this situation so that she can forgive my brother and I. She's been given the coldest of shoulders. Yes, we deserve it, but seriously, it's, it's killing me. I'm dying inside for this forgiveness. Uchechuku, calm down. My son, calm down. That notwithstanding, we find a way to make it up to her. Personally, I feel so bad. I do, I feel terrible. Because of all the hurtful things I said to her. I feel so embarrassed. What if she were my child? That is a problem, Mom. How do we go about it? How? Well, leave that for us, son. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Commander, you have to snap out of this mood you are. I know it's hurting, but you don't have to let it be cloud your sense of reasoning. You don't! You're saying all of this because you obviously do not know what it means to be raped. You obviously do not know. You don't! I may not know how it feels to be raped, but I do know it hurts. And this scar remains fresh for almost a lifetime. Especially when you've not forgiven the rapist. Come on, girl. It's okay to who you're talking about here. I know you became a prostitute as a result of the rape. But after many years, he saw you and fell in love with you, notwithstanding what you do for a living. What he did to you back then was evil. But I know he's sorry. He's deeply sorry. That's where you got it all wrong. Yes. Okechuku doesn't love me. He knows everything. He knows. That was why he was acting all nice, sympathizing with me. And you know I hate something like that. Amanda, can you just stop it? Do you know you're lying? Okechuku loved and cared for you the very day he met you. And you know that. And I'm telling you that he does not love me. Okechuku was only sympathizing with me because he knew full well that, that he put me in this mess. Can you imagine telling me? Can you just stop it? Can you just stop it for once, Amanda? See, I know it's hurting. I understand you. I you know don't understand me. You have no idea what I'm passing through. That is why you're raising your voice at me instead of trying to... Please. Can okay. you just calm down? It's hurting, but you have to relax. You have to calm down. It's not good for you. Come it out of this mood. It is well with my soul. It is well. Amanda, I'm your friend. It's not like I'm supporting your kid, but please. You need to come out of this mood. He's sorry, and he's sorry for real. Please. You're hurting yourself. And it's not good for you. Baby girl. Mommy, baby, please.
What troubles you? It's Chimamanda. So, what about her? She has refused to see me nor talk to me. I can't be at peace until she forgives me, Dad. I can't find peace in myself anymore. Well, uh, it's good that uh, you are truly remorseful after what you did. I know that. What I did was really wrong, Dad. And I'm hurt about it. I can't even be at peace with myself. I just want to make amends for everything I have done. I, I know it's not easy, but I just wish she forgives me. I'm ready to do anything for her to forgive me. Well, it's all right. Don't worry yourself. Everything will be fine. Well, I'm sure she's not finding it easy also. Considering the psychological trauma that she went through as a result of the rape. Right? But don't worry. I will have a discussion with your mother. I will see how we handle the issue. Okay? Take it easy. Thank you, Dad. I... I really appreciate it. I'm, so, I'm glad you're going to talk to mom about it. It's all right. So, now you can sleep and snore, okay? Um, we just keep our fingers crossed, you know, and hope for the best, okay? Thank you, Dad. All right. Good night. Thank you, Dad. Good night. Yeah. <sighs> What have you come here to do? I told you to stay away from me, didn't I? But I can't. It's hard. What do you want? I have come to ask for forgiveness. I want you to come back to me. You've come to ask for forgiveness? After what you and your brother did to me? Really? I am deeply sorry, my love. We are very sorry. 
I am ashamed of what I did. All I ask is the chance to make things right again. The chance to amend my wrongs. The chance to, to make retribution for what I did. With sympathy? Really? And you think that would heal me? You and your brother took away the innocence of a defenseless girl. A singular act that led me into prostitution at a very tender age. A big kudos to you. A big kudos. And you're here telling me what? What are you saying? Baby, I know. You know nothing. You know nothing, Okichuko. The best retribution for a rapist like you is for you to pay dearly for your sins. You know absolutely nothing. Nothing. Hook me up with your call. No worry, I'll call. I'll call. I'll call her later because I want to sleep. No, I'll call her later. Alright. It is with a heavy heart that I write this. With all my past, I would always tell you, and mine has finally caught up with me. I am so ashamed for what I did in the past. More so, it turned out to be the same person I promised to love and protect. It hurts. It hurts that I hurt you and it's hard to watch you shed those tears. I did what is evil before God and man and I have to pay for my sins. I must have been in the police cell by the time you see this message to pay for my sin against you. Please forgive me, Okichuko. Forgive me. Forgive me.
Why did you call me back? Allow me to face my sins. I deserve every punishment that comes with it. I deserve it. I deserve even worse. Why did you do that? You think arresting yourself would, would heal me? Yes. Is that what you think? Yes. After what you and your brother did to me? If you don't know, Ikechuku, what you and your brother did changed my life for the worse. And that wouldn't have been possible without my uncle and his wife. But I can never hate you so much because of what you did for me. You took me in. You showered me with so much love. You cared for me without minding where you picked me from. You sacrificed a lot for me, and I know. But your revelation spoiled everything. It opened an old wound. It opened an old wound that I had covered over the years and managed to live with. Right about now, the wound looks so fresh and deep. But your selfless sacrifices is enough to heal it. I have forgiven you, Kechuko. Forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. It's I'm very sorry, Amanda, for all the pains my brother and I have caused you. We regretted what we did that day, but we didn't have the courage to look for you to apologize. Please forgive us. I know we hurt you. I hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm ready to make up for it, to do anything, please. Anything you want me to do, please. No, I don't have to kneel for me, get up. You don't have to kneel for me. I know full well that what you and Okichiku did to me is really hurting. But at the same time, I think it's high time I forgive you people and move on with my life for me to be free and happy. I have forgiven you, Ujechu. It's okay. My daughter, please forgive me. I didn't treat you well. I am so sorry, please. It's I okay. judged you wrongly. It's okay, babe. Sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive my children. I'm forgiving everybody, ma. Thank you. Um, my pizza. Let's go inside. There's no lights, but I was, I was, don't the general. It's okay, please.
She's a person who 